Hello all and uh, and welcome. I say this is live on Instagram, so I'm going to wait for a few people to join um, and wait for my co-host for the season to join. Sorry about the glare and the uh, the glasses there, new light and everything. Um, so yeah, let's try and do this. Here we are. There's Cal, my co-host for this evening. Hopefully, he will uh, request to join. Uh, hopefully. Or do you want me to send you a request, Cal? There we go. He sent one. He sent one. So hopefully. Had everyone join in. Hi, Cal. How's it going? How's it going, my dude? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Um, thanks for uh, being my uh, guest co-host for this evening. You're very welcome, my dude. Thank you for offering. No, no worries at all. No worries at all. And hi to everyone that's joining. Hopefully, uh, Peachy will be with us very shortly. Um, always a concern with uh, Wi-Fi, um, I think, with uh, with Chris. Trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I think he's found himself a nice spot to set up. Um, but yeah, um, absolute honour to have Peachy on. Um, and I thought we do a lot on YouTube and a lot on Twitch with these sort of things. Um, let's do one of these on Instagram. I think this is the first time that Peachy's done an Instagram live, um, especially since you know you wouldn't he wouldn't have been able to do it while uh, employed uh, by Games Workshop. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I am going to try and search for him. Uh, there we go. Invite. This is going to be one of those things where um, I'm inviting him. And he'll try and request, and it'll cancel each other out. No, there won't. There he is. There's the man. <laughs> it works. How's it going, man? Good. It worked. Normally, I'm sat there, which is like three feet away, and no, oh, no signal. No signal. <laughs> sat here. Signal full. I don't get it. <laughs> don't get it. Amazing. No, no I'm 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 modern technology. <laughs> yeah. I've uh, I've already done a bit of an, an intro, but um, just to reiterate again, I just want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule for like joining us for a bit of a hobby hangout. Yeah, happy to. It's, uh, yeah, it, much, it, much it, it was the same but different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, how are we anyway? Good. Um, yeah, yeah. I I've got more smiles on my face. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is true. Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. It's great. Oh, just see Adam, Adam, my colleague from uh, one of the peachlings, as they call it, just pulled up there. Uh, he's on his stalk on the Instagram. Good old Adam. Yeah. Hi. hi, everyone yeah, joining. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> if I miss any anything written, it, it's not my fault. I'm just terrible at reading this stuff as it flies by. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, only, it only shows me two lines of text, so once once it's gone, it, it's gone. So I'm hoping Cal. Can can keep an eye on. I'm um, have to pay attention, and I'm trying to paint. But okay, I will do my best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you no. very much. That's, this, this is so much like hanging out in hobby, where we, one of us has to keep an eye on the questions, and we none of us do. <laughs> Everyone's looking down, so the entire screen is just a bald head, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I've had to reposition this camera because all you're getting is a big sheen now. I'm trying to trying to oh. minimize sheen if I can. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did in the last five minutes just adjusting the light so I didn't get a sheen as well. So yeah, is that is that ever an issue when recording? Like when you're doing the painting tutorials and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, um, back in the day, <laughs> even even now with like Pat, I mean, back in the day it was like you'd seen him fiddling with the lights. You're like, you just fiddle with that. I was like, yeah, yeah, just trying to get trying to get the right yeah. kind of light. I'm like, it's my head again, isn't it? It's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff and Pat have joined. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Pat. Hi, everyone. Ooh. Hi, welcome. Um, yeah, as always, let us know what you're working on. Uh, if you are working on anything, so I uh, always like to uh, find out what's on your um, hobby desks areas, what, what you're working on. Um, and from that, I will go to you guys. Uh, Cal, what are you working on? Uh, I am currently working on some Iron Warriors Reconnaissance Squad for a um, campaign that we're starting in the new year. Ooh. Uh, nice one. Nice one. Yeah. You got, any, got, any, got any pictures going up on Instagram at all? 
No, because I literally based them about an hour ago. <clears throat> so right. they'll be up later on. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that an excuse? I mean, it, it definitely is an excuse. Okay, right. Uh, Peachy, what are you working on? Weirdly, I'm painting more scenery with Dirty Down because I can't stop because it's like the best. Yeah, no good. Yeah. <laughs> no good. yeah, I know, right? It's, um... I've got the Necromunda Market and I've got a load of crates. So I thought I'll just, because me and Pat want to do some like nice. Yeah shots of scenery i thought i'd just paint some more stuff up for that so uh, yeah using that, that is a ge it's, it's a game awesome. changer that yeah. yeah it is a game changer yeah i mean it, i was quite new to it and i'm never using anything else other than this and i know some folks mm. have said like um yeah once you add water to it it obviously reactivates but i don't play in the bath and i certainly don't play outside so yeah it's, yeah, it's, not, it's not an issue <laughs> yeah it should be all right <laughs> it's a non-issue yeah um <laughs> No, I, I love the stuff. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to u find a way to use the other, other ones, the, uh, the moss and the verdigris. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I've not found like an application <laughs> I want to use it on yet, so I'm, I'm sort of just going through. Yeah. Um, some bits like that. But yeah, no, that I, and I watched the video uh, today. Came out um, with oh, yeah. where you, you did the dirty down stuff. So there, that's a. Uh, so people need to check that out. So definitely. So um, yeah, yeah. Pat's, uh, uh, videography is amazing because he, he just does a time lapse of watching it dry, and it's just you just get to see that satis satisfaction. Like, satisfaction. That's not a word. It is. <laughs> satisfaction. <laughs> satisfaction. You can make up words. I can make, wow. well, apparently, I have splodularity is a word I said in one of the videos. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Splodularity. <Perfect. laughs> but yeah. Um, so yes. Um, so what, are you what, 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 what if I thought you wouldn't ask? Um, <laughs> no one ever asks. <laughs> what are you working on? What are you working on? <laughs> I'm, I'm working on um, the not so secret project anymore, uh, the Night Haunt stuff. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to do a an army which I can paint super, super fast, but re be really, really effective. Um, I did some test models, and my aim is to do the whole army by the beginning of December. Ooh, wow! Yeah, that's so. Yeah, big um, ones there. Yeah, just uh, just testing that out, but um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, should be fine. Oh, so I've got a challenge. I'll take you on, Daz. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of an opponent. I will say that I, I'll, I'm up. Given anyone a game of Warhammer, but um, if you if you're looking for any sort of uh, of uh, a challenge, then oh, uh, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not, I'm not your player. No. Same. I I uh, played Darcy. She's I know she's in the chat. Um, we had the Horus Heresy weekend come up uh, a couple of months back now. And we've been begging yeah. to play a game of Warcry for like three years. It's like Nova or Adepticon. Never went to that one. Never went to Nova. Then it was COVID. It was just like, oh. And then she was like, I'm coming down. I was like, we're playing the game. And I like the mm. rules. I know the rules. I'm just naff at the game. Yeah. I'm just, I don't have dice rolls. Tactics. I don't do tactics. I just charge. So, so yeah, we should, we yeah. should play the game because I reckon equally we might actually uh, – Exactly. <laughs> the <two> <laughs> exactly. It's kind of thing that you can have the best list in the world and the best, you know, get up and everything. But if the dice gods on the day have decided that you're not going to win anything, then oh yeah, yeah. Which is most days for me. To be fair, it's most days. Me too. <laughs> Does everybody just say that? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, for, for anyone that's obviously uh, joining or join now. Um, Obviously, uh, Peachy or um, Mr. Chris Peach, um, you will probably know you will probably know him from uh, the Warhammer TV um, painting tutorials and things like that. Oh yeah, um, I don't know what the official title was, Chris. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I think it's just YouTube painting presenter. I think that's there. We are YouTube painting presenter. So, yeah. um, so you have um, now moved on onto yes. uh, pastures anew. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you, yeah. Could, could you possibly tell us a bit bit about that? Because it's it's super cool. Like I'm really enjoying watching the new content and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think um, so. Obviously, I've been with Workshop for decades, long, long yeah. time. And uh, we did an interview with Jeff uh, the other day um, where we we chatted about some of this, and um, it got to the point where I think from my career, I've done lots of different jobs, and at the time of the business 
there was like manager jobs there was you know retail jobs and as much as i was enjoying doing the painting videos i got to a point where it got a bit stale and i, I wanted to do more but because well, obviously we only sell certain products and we yeah. market through a marketing department uh, i keep saying we i need to stop saying we uh, <laughs> i was in the marketing department um and yeah it got to the point where i just thought like, I, I wasn't i want to say challenged but it just for the new guys coming it's all new it's great it's like you know amazing lots of cool stuff they can do and whatever but for me I'd, i've done it all and there was no <clears throat> challenges really so yeah um, that was part that of it they did yeah well yeah i mean without it wasn't like really a negative thing it was just like it got just to the point where i was just i wasn't feeling particularly fulfilled so it was like just doing the same thing every day and as, as useful as it, it felt like it was it, I, I knew we could do more but we couldn't do more um, mm. and short of being an artist which i'd studied for at university and there is no way and i've just seen phil mosses in the, uh, the 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 chat um you know i'm nowhere near the level of those guys they're just so good um, yeah. so that's, that's like many years of getting back into doing illustration or the other side of it is doing sculpting my mate steve was an army painter went into sculpting and you know it took him a long time to build that skill so it's not just something you can learn overnight so i was like that's a long time <laughs> For me to, to get yeah. to these different jobs across the business um and then pat who used to work for us um he did warmer plus stuff for about six months on bat report he just grabbed me one day and just says you fancy coming to work with me i was like yes please because <laughs> <laughs> your videography skills are amazing yeah. and i've got loads of ideas of stuff i want to do um and i tried to make sure that my departure from workshop wasn't like a, a negative one or anything like that it was just more like i've done a lot of stuff I've enjoyed my time. I just want to go off and do something different for a time. And that might just be for a few years. It might be forever. I don't know. It's, it depends yeah. on how things go. So uh, there certainly is like, no bad blood from my part. That's for sure. So, yeah. Good. Yeah. But as, as for now, then you are now um, doing painting tutorials and videos as a part of uh, the painting phase. Yeah. Great name. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome name. So if you're not if you're not subscribed or following, like whether that's on Instagram or or, or subscribed over on YouTube, then do go and check it out. Honestly, um, really cool stuff. Surprised and delighted, yeah. <laughs> shocked <Yeah>. and awed <laughs> <laughs> by by Greg. Greg is uh, so that's what Pat has named the uh, space moon that was heretically painted for tiktok um, <laughs> obviously it did the rounds it did like what two and a half million views on tiktok or something like that just because people like to see hey. and as jeff and pat have said you know they're doing a service so other people can not look at their pain and go oh i'm not that bad then uh, I'm, I'm quite good at painting um but but yeah so joining those guys i mean they have a different sort of style I mean, pat was like you know in, into like learning as a process watching other videos and mm -hmm um reviewing those videos so that, that's like a really nice at the moment he's quite busy doing like his editing because we're, we're banging out the videos as quickly as we can so it's got a lot of editing but that that was quite interesting to watch like you know reviewing other people's videos and like painting different models based on those and then picking his favorite or like taking elements of each of them uh, so mm -hmm. that was quite nice and then from my point of view it's just like i just want to get in there and do some tutorials now one of the things I will point out, and I've had a few people say, it's like, you know, it's not particularly high end. That's not what, that's not what we want to do. We don't want to do high end painting. There's plenty of them out there and you can, that's a, that's a place you can go to once you've learned a few core skills. Yeah. Our remit is to kind of get you onto that ladder or at least yeah. help you along. So yeah. Kind of yeah. Really yeah. Solidify the foundation of it all and then be like, from this, you can then work too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like take Duncan for instance I mean he still follows a, a lot of the core Citadel painting system which is like base coat shade highlight highlight I would say he's higher up the the wrong the ladder than me so you know when it comes to like the the content of, of videos that are being pumped out because he does a lot more edge highlighting so you know it's almost like watch the stuff I do get to a certain point play games with it and if you want to do it a bit more then you know Duncan's got all that content out there for you to to then get yeah. better and get better and then you can go to if you i know i won't but you've got richard gray you've got yeah. andy wardle uh, you've got daz yeah. laven i mean daz exactly. yeah he's just an anomaly isn't he that guy yeah. um yeah. but but yeah it's it it's fun it's nice I, 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 with, minus the hair i'd like to think i'm i'm not a rembrandt i'm more of a bob ross <laughs> 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 like going down that route you know you can look at um, follow along and you'll be all right <laughs> I've I've had a question sent from Mark Peach seventy four. Oh God, that's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> question for Chris. 
Uh, whose head is on the spike behind you? Whose head is on the spike? Oh, that's 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 the um, the, the headless motorcyclist who cut me up one day. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've now just put his head on the spike in the uh, in the man cave. It's actually my helmet. It's my helmet. Say hello to everybody as well. <laughs> everybody joining. Hi, um, thanks for joining. Um, so sorry if I'm missing everyone. I can't shout everybody out, but um, say awesome to see Mr. Wade Price there as well. Um, <gasps> He's there. Hello, Wade. Absolute legend. Um, he is. I, had, I say I had, I had the privilege of um, meeting uh, Wade when uh, I came on once on the uh, Warhammer TV uh, Twitch stream for a game. Um, an absolute gent. Yeah. So. My biggest regret of leaving is, I'm, well, I say I'll never get to play games against Wade. I probably will, but I will miss the hobby talk. I'll miss the trash talk, especially mm. the the... The, the game that never was, which was the Argent Shroud version of the Flesh Terrors and stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to... Mm. We will get around to doing it, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. The unfinished business that was never started, as Wade calls it. <laughs> <laughs> so does this, this move... Uh, does this open... Um, you know, does it give you more, more time now to play games and things like that? Because were you sort of restricted at uh, all? Not- not really restricted as such. It's just, no. um, I, I guess, tired when you when you do a lot of stuff all day and then you you, you go. Of course, cool. yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I've always I used to play more games and like paint quite quickly when I was younger. Certainly when I was in retail, mm-hmm. uh, and then recently it's become more like I just didn't get round to it or I just never found the time. And having a child as well, just as much as I love him does tend to eat up your personal time every, a lot. Every moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, we're like, oh, I really want to play a game tonight and stay down with it, but, you know, I, I want to get back and make sure he's picked it from school or whatever, and then, you know, I've got to get him fed and this and that. So sometimes, yeah. you know, it, it, it's yeah. one of the things, and that that's, you know, my responsibility as a parent once you go down that route. You, you've got to do that. But yeah. certainly with Pat and Jeff, um, it's something – We'd like to do more, maybe on the channel as well. Do some games. You know, we awesome. spent, we've, we've spent time painting this this kill team setup. It'll be a rude not to play a game of it and then record it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah get the full. I, I've, I've been meaning to do some uh, battle reporty type stuff on the channel, but unfortunately, I never finish a project. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a couple of videos out there right now that might help you speed that along. <laughs> well, really? Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Where can I find that? Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. It's fine. Now, I um, my, my issue with, is I, I'm just too passionate about AOS. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's the game system for me. I I, I dabble in other things. I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so I, I've got like the Star Wars Legion stuff. Um, really? But I sort of just got, I sort of got into it started painting it up and then something for AOS dropped because Games Workshop released stuff like every, you know what I mean? It's just relentless yeah. release schedule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is no break of like the wants, you know, like I want that, yeah. I want that, I want that. So, yeah. Um, obviously, I yeah. remember like, I remember when, um, I say a lot of people remember when as well, where it wasn't so uh, regular. Was it like once, like, I don't know, every month, if that? Yeah, sometimes it was a couple of months, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was certainly uh, quite sporadic, um, which was great when you're an army painter at that time because you had more time to paint armies, but mm. <laughs> nowadays yeah, it's yeah. Really all up to yeah, a lot more intense. And uh, there's a certain sort of balance as well that I, I used to find when I was in the office was like you'd get into something, but then you could only get into it sh- for a short period of time before the next thing was out so mm. sometimes it was like quick fixes of that quick fixes of that which is why i end up because i used to spend a lot of time building up armies like the sister battle machines of the cults and the um, stormcast cities of sigma stuff mm. uh, and then i just found actually you know what war cry kill team necromunda i can just do like a, a, a war band or a game yeah. and, and i get to play more games of those because they're quite quick at their lunchtime games as well so that's yeah. that's where i found my my niche of the hobby um for the last couple of years which is scare me works for me it's perfect. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of uh, of the Necromunda style of things because I quite like the scenery that's been brought out for it. Um, but also, yeah. as you say, it's a very fast paced. Um, yeah, it's, it's very fast paced. Or you can eke it out and make it like a campaign. There's a lot of goodness to it. So, yeah, yeah, it's. I mean, sometimes I find that as much as I love uh, the Specialist Games Studio, sometimes those books are a little bit 
ad hoc and you're like where's that special rule now so sometimes there's a little bit of page flipping and lots of like post-it notes but yeah. you know what i like that it's it i don't mind that so much it's not the end of the world there's worse things in the world happening than having to flip a couple of pages to uh yeah, to one one. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but yeah for me like war cry is one of those games where it um it kind of just like clicked and once the rules were in my head there's as long as you've got your, your fighter cards and your ability cards that's the only information you need to know and most mm-hmm. of the university abilities i know the rest i'll just read and yeah. work it out through the game so i like stuff like that, that you know because i've got all this information in my head for painting a lot yeah. of my recall so doing lines sometimes when i'm like doing my script to, uh, to camera i'm just like Bleh, i can't even think my recall is terrible because of all that uh, info that's in my fine, head my <laughs> get it out <laughs> So yeah, just download it onto YouTube now. So it's it's gone. That's 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 the plan. <laughs> the way into the ether. <laughs> yeah, don't have to worry about it again. But yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good doing that. Yeah, I would say I'm also a big fan of AOS. It was it was the um, after the death of the old world, which is now coming back. Um, it was my segue back into playing, well, painting and playing again. So AOS um, really famous. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 you see, I really, I didn't mind the end time so much as a campaign no. set. I really got into that. I really like the um, sort of like the campaign setting. My only issue with that, and I, I was definitely feedback we passed on early days, was it, those books just happened too quickly that you never really got a chance to to get enough traction on the campaign before the next yeah. one hit you. It's like, oh, what, what we're on to like yeah. thank you now, are we? Oh, we're <laughs> on to pain now, are we? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that, that was my, my, my one criticism of the end times. It didn't give us enough time. And I think, you know, if I was going to be like back in the office and we're like doing a full on post-mortem of that project, but like if we'd just spent a bit longer, we could have spent a bit more time on the Age of Sigma rules and added points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, try and find some questions. So, I just want to point out to everyone. I can see a few questions coming up. There should be a button at the bottom, actually, that allow, should be like a, a speech bubble with a question mark in. If you hit that, you can actually type questions, and it will come up down there. Uh, but, so, I should be able to actually pick them out. Um, so, I don't want anyone to think that I'm ignoring them. Um, <laughs> yeah, the amount of times I'm live, it's like just repost it, just repost it, <laughs> missed it there. <laughs> So, uh, Crafty Ad says, how strong is the rust paint in today's video? How strong? Mm. Very strong. Uh, I'll right. tell you what, I had to open the windows because there is a bit of a, uh, there are fumes to that paint. Yeah. So I would recommend a well-ventilated yeah. area because I was like painting one day, doing all the extra little bits before we did some filming because uh, obviously Pat was doing lots of um, pickup shots, B-roll of time lapse of me going through stuff. But I got a few bits prepped beforehand just so, just, we weren't there for ages waiting for me to get my finger out yeah um, and then i was just here at home and i was like oh, i feel really lightheaded why is that and i was like oh yeah i'll crack a window oh, open I'm I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah learn from my mistakes have a window open i know it's winter but it's worth doing well, we're um oh here's a, good, here's a good question um if you were going to get into the old world what faction would you like to have a go at oh in the old world yeah Ooh. if they made <laughs> rules for um oh, let me think oh there's so much options out there see cafe is pretty cool that's an obvious one and i know they're probably going to be working on that anyway because they showed some sort of stuff didn't they for um kids and things i don't think they mentioned cafe but i don't know some it like astilia or um border princes i always like the, the idea of the border princes what what did they look like because we always talked about them they're always referenced mm. but do they look like the Empire? Do they look like the mercenaries from Tilia? Uh, you know, I don't know. So that would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I always envisage them as being mercenary, looking like mercenaries from Tilia. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like Tilia. I like the dogs of war. So a bit yeah. more of that. What's, sure. what's, your, what's your choice, Cal? Um, uh, well, I originally in the old world, I was, I was a big Skaven player. And I, I, I just love playing Skaven. And then I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to start a new army. I'm going to start Tomb Kings because I love the lore and I thought it'd be a really nice painting challenge for me. And, but then the end times happened and AOS appeared. And in between that, there was a bit of life issues that needed to take precedence. So I didn't really get a chance to work into that. So it's always been on the back burner that if it ever came about again or, you know, looking online, I was going to do that. 
So definitely, I think Tomb Kings for me will be the way yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah. But um, okay. yeah, good choice. I don't. I don't even need to answer. People know my answer. <laughs> what is your answer? Who don't know your answer? I want Chaos Dwarves back. <laughs> oh yeah, Chaos Dwarves. Wow, and, and I thought I thought that would give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no, I um, no, I uh, I had a Legion of Asgore army, so I wasn't truly like into it properly when there were actual Chaos Dwarves, big hats, things mm. like that. Yeah, so I got into Legion of Asgore, bought all the four drilled stuff. Was never that great in game, but just loved it, and it was so unique. And then obviously that got sort of bye bye. Bye bye. To be able to use if match play, which was. I was gutted, but I've still got them, and I'm just hoping that obviously old world are going to come and I can use them or something. But yeah. they're still beautiful models, so um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 with like the the 40k, 35 years of 40k, just seeing like Goblin Green bases again is just like taking me back. I feel I keep getting mm -hmm. ghost hair. I keep <laughs> like, oh, I've got hair again. Oh no, and I'm not transported <laughs> back in time. It's just people showing me Goblin Green bases. Yeah. yeah. Nice to see. Oh, <laughs> that's a find. <laughs> yeah, I've got. I've also. Uh, I don't know where it's in here. I've got a chestnut ink as well. Oh, I've got a black ink, but I don't know where all yeah. my other's been. So that's all I've got is black ink. It's so something that you just can't recreate. Is the smell of inks, the old <laughs> GW inks. It's just yeah. its own contrast. Got a close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. not. No, nah, sorry, not quite the same. <laughs> I did find uh, um, White Scar had the. The undertones of school white of old. So I was just like, mm. yeah, a tang. A little, <laughs> a little smell of that. Oh, so many questions now. Why did I say that? Um, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what are we all painting this evening? Uh, we've been through that very quickly. Um, I myself am doing some Night Haunt stuff. Cal, what are you at? Uh, Reconnaissance Squad for the Iron Warriors for 30k Horus Heresy 2. And uh, Mr. Peachy. Dirty down in a load of market bits for Necromunda and some crates. And if you I... want to see how that works, go and check out the video on um, yeah. the painting phase. Came yeah. out today. So go and check that out. Uh, not right now, though. Do it after this. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. It, it'll, it'll, still, it'll still be on YouTube after this. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, favourite non-GW brand paint. Ooh. So, if I, if I can chuck in. Um, I, I am new to not using workshop paints. So I've spent most of my career using workshop paints and I, I kept to that mainly because if I use something else, I might get a bit spoiled. Um, mm -hmm. It might influence. So I've always kept a workshop because I'm, it means when you do like the painting videos and like army painting, you know what the properties are, you, you know what you can do with them. Um, and recently my, my buddy Steve showed me uh, Vallejo Gunmetal Air. Oh, and he yeah. showed me it going over black, and I was like, "I need to get a part of that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's an army painter. I've got started using some of their sprays as well, so um, uh, they're they're great. Yeah, you're exploring it all now. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, <laughs> oh, so much to do, so much to see. I think my head's going to explode if I'm honest. There's just too much out there. <laughs> I can recommend the army speed painting. Um, yeah, pop. They're, they're really yeah. quite good, uh, just for very quick base wash highlight you know just get it out there quick but as possible how does that is it like is it like a contrast or is it a bit different or like somewhere between a wash it, and a contrast it's somewhere between a wash and a contrast it comes in a little with a little ball inside and Ooh. you just obviously shake it up and pop it on and no it, it's all like almost pre-thinned so it, you know a couple of nice coats with it will give you a nice smooth the, texture. Um, yeah I, I prefer the um the speed paints but for using like glazes okay yeah they're a really good like glaze consistency and, and they go over quite nicely like like that um it's good for doing like glows and things like that on plasma coils and things it's, it's really cool um, yeah. but yeah very much the same i think as you know to contrast um but yeah uh oh this is such a list <laughs> <laughs> we will work through it I don't. I feel I've got to go through them all now. Um, I, I am. I am vetting them first. Um, oh yeah, that was always joy on live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, Dad and lad, forty k. Uh, is there a movie, comic, 
uh, book, etc., you really wish there was a tabletop game for? So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of answer that question, but I'm going to say computer game, if that's okay, dad and lad. And that's XCOM. I love XCOM, and I want to. I want. Mm. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to make it. I'm going to approach a company, and I'm going to make it because I love the computer game XCOM, and I've always wanted one a movie of it, a comic of it, <laughs> and also a board game. I know there was like an app game. I've got the you know the board game where you use like an app on a, on an iPad or iPhone, which is great. It stresses you out mm-hmm. when you when your mates, right. your mates get stressed trying to sort out a project before the aliens start attacking. But an actual <laughs> board game where you can like add sort of weapons or like it will probably feel like necromunda where you upgrade and like become like get better armor get better weapons stuff if you guys have never played it it is a great game the old uh, videographer used to work with joe um god bless him i miss him um he, he he's like very sort of like a sporty kind of guy he's really into like you know he used to work with uh, mansfield town doing like videography and stuff so it's very much like oh, i like this kind of stuff i'm I'm not really into miniatures but I'll film them because I know what I'm doing but he's obviously got into miniatures by doing the job quite a lot and I just said to him one day have you ever played a game called XCOM I just started talking about it and he's hooked so yeah I know if there was a miniature game he'd be into that so it's going to happen one of these days it's going to happen so I hope that kind of answered it sort of Mm -hmm. good answer Um, I'm going to get so far and then uh, not what I'm doing uh Oh, uh, for Peachy, knowing how far you've come with GW, how has your hobby changed between the death and rebirth of the old world? Mm, I I won't lie, I was sad when it happened, because I had a Vampire Counts army, and I had a Talibur Clan army. I've kept the Talibur Clan army on square bases, I never got around to rebasing it, because it felt a bit odd using that in Age of Sigma, whereas the Undead I did. Um, mm. but now it feels like I should probably put them back on square bases <laughs> after mm. all that effort I've, in fact mm. I think I put them all on round bases and I've not played a game with them yet so it seems like a pointless mm. exercise really um, but yeah I mean it <laughs> didn't really change my hobby I mean I, I certainly when that happened when the old world died um, an Age of Sigma um, came out obviously there was a lot of tension about it some people were very against um change i mean change is a constant constant in games workshop there's always new things coming out so sometimes it's it's one of those things that uh, for me i I found it was quite nice to to not have the same factions that didn't really progress in history as much as nice as i enjoyed playing it and love the background i kind of still like the idea of like making your own stuff up and which is what age of sigma gives if it was, you know, I'm not, I don't own the business. I won't, I don't. I, I probably should never run a business. <laughs> says going and making his own channel. Um, but I would have kept both. I'd have kept both. I would have had that run in the background, maybe as like, like yeah. the same guys are bringing back now, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, like that's when the Haller Guild thing happened, and I started doing like the Cities of Sigma stuff, and just going, you know, I'm just going to get a load of elven bodies and stick human heads on them, get a load of them make this color scheme and make the empire models not look like empire models because every single mm. color combination of empire you can't it's kind of covered so yeah, it was, that was yeah. quite hard trying to come up with a color scheme that didn't directly look like reichland or um middenland or middenheim or something like that so that was that was quite a challenge um, but i like that so that kind of spurred my hobby on a bit more i, I think i became more creative as opposed to the opposite mm. but then you know there's lots of hobbies and different stuff out there and i've always been into napoleonics world war ii star wars legion when it came out well not mm. when it came out steve my buddy showed me how to play it one game that's what it takes one game of peach and then, then <laughs> I'm well, have you tried um, conflict 47 i haven't I've, i was talking to a guy called pete gosling who works at warlord games and he was talking about like yeah, how they got hold of um that and i was like looking at all the stuff he's like yeah i like that it looks great so, <clears> yeah Maybe a video coming soon. Um, Pat's probably mm. like, no more. I've got enough to edit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, as he's, just because you've said that as well, I see a question that sort of relates to sort of other things on the channel. Um, uh, will you be painting up other stuff, Star Wars or Bolt Action, things like that? Absolutely. So we've done a couple of videos for Star Wars already. Um, some of them just initially and it's a bit behind the scenes here um normally we only keep that to patrons on patreon but chuck it in um i my first star wars figure was one of the stormtroopers from the main box set and cleaned it all up sprayed it and with pat's cameras because they are very good 
it mm. looked horrid <laughs> that you could see all the faults because that old plastic is quite soft as well yeah. it just didn't look great and in the end he had some clone troopers and i've already painted a bunch of clone troopers which i posted on instagram doing like the um, 41st elite core um and i was like can we can we can we do clones instead of stormtroopers because it's the same color uh pretty much so we we did that he's kept the video he's like should we keep it as a short i'm like no i don't i hate it it's horrid it just looks terrible Mm -hmm. i mean it it might be one of those things we would go back to and just go look these these early plastics aren't the best but if you want to paint them this is what they look like um but but yeah we've got star wars stuff i've got gentleman's war up there um so i'd like it would be nice to do what we've done with into dark where we paint both factions and the vehicles in it completely. So you mm. see it being done as like a, like over a weekend kind of job, like yeah. get more built up, get more painted. Xandra dust is going to be a winner there or any other like uh, desert based mm. undercoats. Um, and then, yeah, I'd like to touch on things like Napoleonics. Oh, there's so much stuff out there. I mean, I've even got Masters of the yeah. Universe Battleground up there. I want to paint He-Man. I want to paint Skeletor. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I want to paint videos for them. So, yeah, lots of stuff. Um, Get an old Hero Quest box and do one of those as well. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I love that new set as well, because there's so much to it. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And 3D printed stuff. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm chucking it in. I ordered some yeah, 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 yeah. Star Wars stuff from, uh, from School Forge. Yeah. Doing, like, the remnant and stuff like that. Oh, they're, they're so nice. Mm-hmm. And really into painting them up. Uh, well, that's a rhetorical question now. Um, Old World Warhammer, Vampire Coast, anyone? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Vampire <laughs> Coast. Maybe, Vampire maybe Coast if I'm playing it on, you know, Warhammer Total War, I'll probably keep the Warhammer Total War for Vampire Coast. Yeah. Total War um, 3. Very good game. Yeah. Uh, one of my uh, fellow co-hosts uh, for the channel, Mr. Mark, Paul has put a question. Sorry, Mark, you don't join this. You don't get to ask questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, r- real life stuff going on. Um, what's the most difficult model you've painted? Oh, I get. I have had that a few times, and I think it's the ones where you get a lot of sub assemblies. But mm. and I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, off the top of my head because I've done quite a lot and obviously they've just gone back into the past and I've forgotten about them but if I was to say like if there's a current one uh, the new because uh, we didn't get around to doing a video of it the Votan Outrider uh, on the little floating bike mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, trying to do the crew member um, again I've not built it but this is like feedback I've heard from like the army painters and uh, Adam who was probably doing his video as well it's like it, it is tricky when it's integral to the bike seat um so if i was to do that I'd, I'd probably struggle painting that so when you get like uh, kits that have got a lot of sub assemblies and you yeah. kind of have to have it all separate and paint them all individual i hate that because it's such yeah. a fat and you have to clean everything back up and yeah. then try and glue it all together um other than that i think most things that i can find a way around it's just the the breaking something down painting it separately mm-hmm. and putting it all together and um, it's probably what kills me because i'm lazy yeah. <laughs> uh, right, I'm just going to read one more and then uh, I need to put some paint on models. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and I don't know if you're going to be able to even answer this. It might just be a straight no. Uh, but we've got uh, Mr. Peach, can you give us a teaser of what to look forward to in the coming months on your channel? Ooh, well, I, I could. I mean, the, with, a couple of them were teased in the. Um... Interview, not interview, the what would you call it? Teaser, the teaser. Some were teasing the teaser where I, you know, I'm riding my motorcycle to work. So yeah. there's obviously some Star Wars stuff in there. There's a lot of things that me and Pat are trying or would like to try. Um, but I, I think if I was to like put something out there to keep an eye out on is, is, is trying to have a go at dinner about report. Whether that happens before Christmas, after Christmas, I don't know. I know the, the goal is when we get like a box set like Kill Team Warcry, we want to paint that up. And the, yeah, that'd be like great. to play a game with that as well, and do like a cool fun bat report, where yeah. we're learning and you're learning along. Uh, that, that that's kind of the premise of the the, the show. Really, is mm. everything we're teaching is is basic stuff, including like the rules. So that I think that might be something as a yeah, that's a future plan that's, that's gonna brilliant be on, the, on the cards. That sounds cool. Um, I was saying, I thought I, th- I thought I thought as well. What, what what's always been quite cool, um, though, Peach is like. Um, 
Eden, sort of going back a bit now, like, um, you've always been quite, um, like, vocal in the community anyway, which has always been really nice. Like, um, going back a bit, like, you know, you, you've replied to, like, my tweets and things like that, or when I've, like, asked a question uh, just in a tweet <laughs> and, and sort of, like, um, so I remember, like, I was having a massive struggle doing my uh, vampire um, stuff, my uh, zombie dragons and terror geist conversions. And oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember, like, just quickly just doing a little, uh, oh, I tag Peachy in there, so I'm sure he's got some ideas. It's like just to get a, a conversation going back, because you, d- you don't necessarily think that you're going to get a response. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll try, because but I've got so much else on, you know, and, and you probably get that a lot. Um, <laughs> but, but, yeah. As much as anyone, I reckon. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, but, I, yeah. I try to, I try to. I will always try and answer if someone sends a message because I mean I've been there. I've I've wanted to know something and not quite sure, or just wanted to say thank you, or um, you know show my appreciation. But um, I don't think anyone should see themselves as too good to answer questions unless it's something really rude. Then I'm just going well, yeah, to be sarcastic back or just ignore it. Yeah. Um, show it the contempt it deserves. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for the most time, it's like if someone sends me a message or a direct message or you know a comment or it. In passing, it's like, you know, when I was in a workshop, I'd be walking through. Um, I used to like going through the shop because I like to look at all the shiny toys, but also it was just a bit warmer during winter um, yeah. as opposed to going a bit, you know, down the boring route, which is just a really beige looking staircase. Um, <laughs> it's like, well, great. Um, so, but people would not want to say hello, but they want to say hello. And they're like, oh, I saw you and I really wanted to say hello, but I didn't want to bother you because you look busy. I was like, say hello. I mean, I'm, no one's special. I'm just a, that that happened to me. Many a time. I was like, oh, look, it's peachy. I'll say, it. oh, no, 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 too bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I get that. I mean, when uh, what that Andy when did the thing for Andy Circus uh, before Christmas uh, last year, mm-hmm. um, and I was nervous as hell. And I'm like, that's the guy who played Gollum, and he's been in all sorts of movies, and I really <laughs> like him, but I've got to teach him how to paint. And he was lovely, but, you know, I sent him a message after to say thanks. It was really great. I know he would never get back to me um but that's not the point i mean sometimes you, it's just the process of doing that and wants to yeah, yeah. say thanks. Your appreciation yeah exactly yeah so he's a busy man he's got more important things to do than worry about some bold guy saying thanks for talking about airfix models it was great <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it, it was very much a hobby so that that was because you know this is the thing I always I always think is like when you get like actors that come in they, and they're all friendly and was like oh he's really friendly it's like well it's their job to to make believe isn't it that's what they do as a job um so are they genuine or not but he was gen- I mean he's the only actor I really met but he, he was genuine because when I started talking to him um he asked me about the grey knights at the front he's like did you ever paint any of these I was like well, I painted that unit I painted that unit I was like oh yeah I was more into airfix models and then we got talking about airfix and I mentioned that I got this um Lysander plane it was with my pocket money I got five pound from my mum and dad for pocket money I went to the local hobby shop and I got Lysander he's like oh that's the single fixed wing plane isn't it that they used as like a, a training plane that became a spotter plane I was like yep you know what you're talking about you're not making this ill he, he, <laughs> There's no way he could have prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never mentioned that. So, um, so yeah, he was generally quite cool, and his reactions were just like very genuine. So it was nice, from my point of view, getting that sort of like experience. So I understand how it is for other people that might, you know, why they'd see me as like a celebrity. I don't know why, because I'm just a a guy that's a, a talking meat sack that talks to a camera and. Pat's the genius. If anyone ever saw Pat, that that's the hero worship because he makes my models look cool. He, the edits make me not look stupid because the amount of times I get my lines wrong, as today's video was straight away. Look, I remember my name. That was the good start. At least I remember my name. <laughs> at least you've um, at least you've learned to blink now. <laughs> I'm just staring at the camera. <laughs> oh god, those early days. I was so my editor at that time was a guy called Dermot McDonald. Um, lovely guy. He's, he's doing stuff elsewhere now in London. We were recently chatting and he was like at that time i'd never been around people that had kids but i've been around a lot of people now that have kids i don't know how you did it i was like i don't know how i did it because i'd like a newborn i moved into a new job with a newborn and like what a couple of hours sleep every night and i was doing that that's probably why i wasn't blinking it was all the tea all the caffeine (laughs) (laughs) i remember those days but yeah when i was training the um uh, the new presenters for um uh, the youtube stuff uh, for workshop 
um, I, I thought I have to do this because I've got to explain to them that it's hard presenting to camera and you're not going to get it. You're not going to do it straight away. You're not going to sit on that seat and sort of nail it. And I shared my first video. I think it was, and if you want to laugh, anyone that's watching now, type yeah. in how to paint Tyranid Warriors. Um, it's probably got some like graphic from an old codex in it. And mm. I look wide eyed. I have no emotion. I'm like a robot. The, but the best part is that when I look at the camera and I'm just like, I'm really excited about painting this model. There's like, <laughs> dead <laughs> patches. <don't> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, there's like no excitement there at all. It was horrid. So yeah, if you ever want to feel good about yourself, watch that. <laughs> I'm going no, that's the you've got to have the happy medium without it being too over William Shatner kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, I think that's why I'm having a lot of fun now at the moment. It's like me and Pat can just relax and just be ourselves a bit more because there is a obviously a professionalism, a format. You've got to make sure you pronounce things correctly. Uh, the difference between live and recorded, um, it, I guess with the painting face stuff it's it feels and i've got to get into that that mood as well like it feels more like a, a recorded version of live where you can just relax and be a bit more informal but i still keep falling into informal uh, into formality so i need to like loosen up a bit but being able to like mm -hmm. make mistakes like using old dwarf guard red i mean blue and then pat keeps it in the edit and i'm just like cheers mate that's great <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. that's honest we make mistakes and stuff but yeah it's nice to see uh, it's Absolutely nice to be part quality. of that and, yeah make lots of mistakes and don't care <laughs> that's the best way yeah learn yeah. from them and move on yeah. i um i tell you what though like i i gave doing some painting tutorials a go for our channel and um obviously it was never really anything overly serious or, or professional for that matter but it's just something that we wanted to do so but i'm, I'm just going to give it a go i tell you what i've got a whole new respect for people that do them yeah hard <laughs> <laughs> Cause it, it's, cause my, my first my first like impression of it was i'm sat here painting my miniatures anyway i might as well just record it and put it out there yeah it's not that it's not yeah, just painting yeah, miniatures yeah. and recording it <laughs> yeah the bit, the bit for me um because it's, it's obviously it's not i'm not working for a big company that you know has a, a huge amount of staff and you secure you've got a salary well i say secure obviously if you keep screwing up you're going to get into trouble but I don't have that buffer now, so obviously me and Pat have to plug the channel. We have to, you know, mention Patreon and stuff like that. And I've got this whole list of spiel that I say at the end of each video and try and mix up a bit. And I still forget, you know, about liking yeah. and subscribe. Don't forget to support us on this and use this affiliate link. And every time it comes up, I'm like, Pat, what the words again? What was <laughs> <saying?"> <laughs> Even though I've got it written down because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Just hold it up in cards, like, for future reference, yeah. with the cards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could do that. <clears throat> Maybe have it just yeah. blank, and then we could just like translate it for any language. People could just like put what they want on there. Oh no, that's a that, that would be a terrible idea. But also <laughs> great. <clears throat> oh, I see, Kabuski's joined. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. I've used Kabuski's art nearly on every single piece of um, my socials because he did one when we did the Necromunda campaign for live uh, a while back. It's a beautiful piece of art, by the way, Kabuski. I'll, I'll treasure that to the day I die. So yeah, my, I put. I, I didn't realise this. I'd linked my Instagram, and Facebook, and I'd obviously changed my because it, it was an old picture on Facebook. I hardly used it except for Messenger, and I've got hair on it. That's how long ago it was. I used Facebook. <laughs> I actually had hair, and my mum was like, "That's a lovely picture, darling." I was like. <laughs> I didn't draw it, Mum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like I need some art now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can draw just not as well as, like, Kabuski. <laughs> he's an artist. He knows what he's doing. I just, <laughs> yeah. I just do little squiggles of, like, mental monsters for Age of Sigma. That's what I do. Brilliant. I might have to bring that back. Mm, peachy creature feature. I'll have to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> The madness. I think that was just lockdown getting to me. And the um, uh, you and uh, Duncan being a uh, gene sealer. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I think we did an end once as well. I think one of us was like trying yeah. to be a tree beard, but yeah, the the, the gene sealer. Uh, yeah, that was great. Don't, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, was that, was that. that was always my favourite part. Yeah. God, that's going a long time back. Oh man, feeling yeah, even older yeah. now. Yeah, but yeah, I I, I love uh, like even even going further back. I mean, I love reminiscing about the hobby, like when oh, I yeah. first started and stuff. And um, yeah, it's uh, 
I wouldn't say oh, it's, it's, it wasn't better. So I don't think the hobby's ever been in a, a, a better place than what it is now. But it's just something that was different that is just not there anymore. Yeah. Like, I, th- I think for me, like my my normal, what well, they are not games workshop now, but Warhammer stores don't give me that same feeling when I go in anymore. Like them back in the day, like the walls of blister packs. Yeah. Um, yeah. With, with letters on that correspond to a, a, a strip with the letters where A and B are both the same price for some reason. <laughs> um, and the, the cheapest ones were three pounds each. I think so. Yeah. I think, yeah. 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 A and B were both three pounds for some reason. But, yeah. um, you know, and, if I remember and, rightly, I think it might depend on which uh, country you're in as well, that the A and B yeah. might change. So obviously you had like different, oh, right. with different uh, price codes. And I think that's why they did that. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. In the UK, it was like pointless. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I don't know whether that's because m- it's my personal experience of getting into the hobby that I feel that way. But or is it that they just don't feel the same? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Is it me or is it real? You know? <laughs> I, I, I guess there was a, a part of like the rose tinted glasses because I, I yeah. miss those days. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm, if I was to like pick uh, for me for my career, like the golden years, that were probably like over 10 years ago, which is when I was in the design studio. And it felt a bit mm-hmm. like that as well. It felt like old workshop working with Dave Andrews, Mark Jones. Um, obviously, I mean, Duncan were there making armies and scenery and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that old nostalgic kind of you go in, it's goblin green bases it's flocked boards it's like really bright vibrant colors the all the there's like yeah. red felt on the walls why is the red felt on the walls somebody's playing a game of epic in the corner yeah or... yeah, yeah that, that, that red was hideous like that, <laughs> I, yeah i don't miss that yeah but, I think uh, the um, that yeah. for a long time before yeah. i had a refit and i think that was like, well know, after i'd left one thing <laughs> that i do miss that i wish they'd bring back a version of that i don't think they ever will <laughs> Um, is the skulls rewards? Oh yeah, yeah. Ah. I uh, I had I, what would I, I had an old pack of something, and I was passing it around the office, and it had like an old mail order um, mm. sort of like printout sheet, and it had a little sheet with two of the skull stickers on it. Um, I was like, oh, can I redeem them? Still, do you reckon? Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, mm. that that was a good idea. Really, really clever. The true eight says, "I was the ep- epic guy in Lincoln." He was the epic guy in Lincoln. Um, I, wonder if I, I wonder if I met you. I wonder if that's the epic guy I'm thinking of. Because I knew an epic guy uh, who applied for a, a job um, in the Army Painter team. I wonder if that's the same. I wonder if that's you. Maybe. Maybe yeah. my, my brain's frazzled. I'm old. Shaky. You <laughs> <laughs> going off the coffee and tea high, ready to... <laughs> well, I did, before we went live, have two. And now they're both empty. Two. Hey. I, I, thought, I thought I'd just go for one big cup, but <laughs> nice. it's, ra- it's ran out. Oh, man, <laughs> so, it's awesome, it? I have to make a conscious effort to not put mugs in front of myself because I have many a time drank the paint water. I know it's oh. everyone does it, but now I have a glass of water and then the paint mug, and that's it. And that way, uh, I don't get, like paint all round or. <laughs> <laughs> I seem so. I want to say, I'll give a shout out as well to Savage Orc guy uh, Louise in the in the in the chat. Hi Louise, uh, oh. amazing, amazing, like talented painter. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. She made. Yeah. You know, I, I I got a massive bugbear with her. So there's so many times when we were in the office, right? We would be talking. She's like, oh, I've never done gold before, and it's just not that good. And straight away, it's like the best gold you've ever seen. And then it'll be like, oh, I've got to like do black for a uh, like black power armor for like masterclass. I've never done it before. And it's like the best black you've ever seen. Yeah, Louise. Yeah, we're talking about this now. Yeah, <laughs> it's like every time. She never, every time. Oh, I'm no good. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so frustrating. <laughs> It's like, damn you, Louise, and your like ability to just soak up information. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember. I, I... <laughs> there you are. Cheers. I don't know what that means, but cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I say. I did see an important question yeah. earlier on. What's your Ooh. favorite brand of tea? Now we're down to the really important questions. There is only one brand of tea, and that is Yorkshire tea. I can say Yorkshire tea now, not Yorkshire tea. Oh, thank you. (laughs) We were about to end the stream right now, just as soon as if you said anything else other than that. Yeah, you know what I did as well? When we did the... uh, uh, 
sort of teaser trailer. I, I sent that to Yorkshire Tea and they got back. <laughs> they're like, great video. <laughs> Actually, no, no, Louise is right. It's peachy tips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that, yeah, because I, I, I'm called Peachy Tips and I, P, Peachy Tips talking to Yorkshire Tea, that could have caused a conflict. I never even thought about that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. About you, oh, God, Zabobo's talking about Yorkshire and Devon. So I used to think Barnstable uh, was uh, in, in Yorkshire. Is it Barnstable? I'm thinking of Barnsley. Yeah, I used to think Barnstable was in Yorkshire, but that's down in uh, Devon, apparently. So, <laughs> an old, an old uh, uh, Twitch thing that he's never let me forget. No. Really cool. <laughs> Barnes. They both begin with Barnes, right? <laughs> it's a distinction to make, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So, at least we can agree that Yorkshire Tears are the best. Oh, though, yeah. Know. Yeah. No, no doubt yeah. about it. Yeah. And okay. that's a hill I'm prepared to die on. <laughs> and a worthy one at that yeah <laughs> especially when you've got like Sean Bean backing you up with like you know a spear and a ruler or whatever it is he has in the ad yeah, <laughs> no. at least you know that you're not going to be on your snuff seat if Sean Bean's there <laughs> the reason I'm asking what do each of you call bread yeah. rolls though? oh yeah the old age old depending where you live bread rolls are called cobs or barn what? bread rolls Cakes. that's what they're yeah. called it's bread, it's just bread, it's bread roll, isn't it? There's a roll. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I see. I was expecting the answers to be like a little bit controversial there, but no, it, it's a unanimous bread roll. This is good. We're all on the same page. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> this, is how, this is how these hobby hangouts go now. Is people just keep asking questions that aren't hobby related, and it's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets quite fun. This is where it gets quite fun. So. uh yeah, if you've got any more. Um, by the yeah. way, actually, I, I've got I've got a little bit of a um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've got, yeah, I basically I need, I need to have a word with uh, Louise anyway because she shared a tweet. She made a tweet of a little sassy nurgling. Oh yeah, yeah. Or tune. I think it's Thumpasaurus that do it. It's called strutting. I've not been able to get it out of my head ever since, and it's and doing it like a worm. Yeah. It's been weeks. The work here is done. Then, I hate it, but I've also added the song to one of my Spotify playlists. Oh no! Because it's amazing. It, it, yeah, it's it, it's great, but it, it's also one of the worst songs I've ever heard. It's it's nothing worse when you get airwormed, is it? I and mean, it's just oh, there. No. Here's my strut doo doo. Oh no, don't no. <laughs> yeah, here's my strut doo doo doo. Strut my way on over to you. I mean, I don't know how many uh, folks are watching that are parents, but when you start getting those CBBS programs and they they just sorry, they, yeah, yeah. So, oh. yeah. Well, my, my, my kid gets obsessed by a show for what feels like six months, and the current one is Grace's Amazing Machines, and I just can't get that tune out of my head. And my wife's humming it sometimes when she's trying to sleep. It's just like, yeah. just go, just go. Well, <laughs> I used to, uh, when 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 I played my guitar. I always used to play, um, you know, all sorts of things from from Green Day, Blink One Eight Two, all the pop punk classics. Now I'm playing Post One Pat, uh, Paddington Bear, and um, and all the other great um... <laughs> sign of a parent. <laughs> and then that that obnoxious song came along about a baby shark. Oh, oh Louise didn't mm. mention that. See, Louise is beating you to it now. She knows all the, the worst songs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the worst, I, th I think my, my darkest time at workshop was in the office, sorry, in the filming studio and there's Louise and Hattie and they're just like coming out with all these sort of like different tunes and things and it just, mm. and then they'll get the Friday song and then you're like, oh, come on, please, no more. But they <laughs> were. Ah, <laughs> oh, Peach's wife face oh. just give out. Oh, it lasted so long. I think, <laughs> he'll, he'll join, he'll join mm. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's hey, back. Hey, hey. Sorry, Peter, your Wi-Fi cut out. Well, I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. Yeah, you're back. What's the yeah, about? Acoustic set of. What's that? Acoustic set of. Oh, no, that's not from Dougie, is it? Mm. Uh, stick, 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 sticky, sticky, stick. No, is that it? Oh, I think I know it's from uh, I think I know. Yeah. That. Sorry, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, so I was just. 
wax lyrical about like tunes and yeah Hattie and uh, Louise just earworming me with horrible annoying tunes and I hated it <laughs> yeah thanks Louise and Hats if you're watching just constant yeah I'm not I'm not going to do an acoustic set of it though please don't <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! This uh, this is how these these turn out these these uh these sessions. It's great. <laughs> it's great fun. So um, I'm gonna ask you two questions, if that's all right. Oh my god! Yeah, go go for it. <laughs> so favorite army. I know obviously you you've got certain things you like paint and stuff like, that, but favorite army. I'm interested. Sorry. Favorite Me? army. Forty k. Oh, favorite. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. <sighs> Crawl Boys, or the Crawl Boys. Ooh. So, is, is, it, is it current army? Like, is in. I mean, I know you're, you're a fan of Chaos Dwarves, but if there was like, yeah, let's say current, let's go current, actually, let's keep it. I was saying, because it would be Chaos Dwarves, they are my thing, like. Yeah. So, current. Oh. I'm going to say. I like my Gloom Spike Gets. Ooh, both. both. Sort of orky destruction fellows, then. Oh, interesting. Well, I yeah, uh, if, if they were yeah. the first army I ever finished painting, so <laughs> fair. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, I'm my gloom spike. Can I call them gloom spike gits when they're a hundred percent trog off? Uh, I suppose they're in the army book, aren't they? From the book, I mean, it doesn't feel very gitsy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. but for me, yeah, uh, cruel boys mainly because they were the ones that got me back into the hobby after a hiatus. And mm. again, it was the only one that, well, not the only one. It was the one that I finished first and played longest and have enjoyed playing for a while. And now, now I'm uh, on to Nurgle, Maggot King. Oh, uh, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's something, I mean, I've got this thing about orcs. I love orcs. I love the background for them or any kind of like auric of any shape and size, but I just hate painting them. I don't know why I need to get past there. I just need to get over myself. But mm. the, Cruel Boys definitely sort of feel like old school orcs. You know, like they've got that vibe of like that that sort of cunning, not vibe. brutal. Yeah, yeah. But there's a time when you know you had orcs before they were green skin and they had like all sorts of different skin tones. So sort of like that that mix between like the Middle Earth version to like the current yeah. orcs that we we know and love. It's it's still got that sort of nine like eight late late eighties sort of vibe to it. Well, oh, probably, to yeah, I really like them. What, 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 what's your favourite then, Peachy? I think so. For a long time, it was Daughters of Cain. Um, mm -hmm. just because <gasps> Daughters of Cain. Yeah, I mean, the, the Thunder Paint and as Lu Louise as Horrible on the Table Top. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I like doing like all the makeup on the face. That was just fun. It's just they, they, they've just got good faces to paint and the eyes are already like. The, yeah. the, you don't have to do that much. I say a lot of work, but you don't have to sit there trying to work out where the eyes are because you've got these nice sculpted ovals. But I think since yeah. then, um, I think it's Sister the Battle. And I don't know if it's because the simplicity of like the the, the kits and how interchangeable. Yeah. I think that's the thing for me is the interchangeability of them. I know like Marines have got that, but there was a time when a lot of things just became, you can only build this one way. And mm -hmm. although the sets for Sister Battle feel like that, when you look at the instructions, you can do so much with them. And then yeah. they brought out the Kill Team box with um, the Novitiates. And yeah, I just, that, that set alone is just, you can. Yep. It's... An army, I've never played a game. <laughs> Um, but, oh, yeah. need to need to work mm. on. I'm yeah. not a big 40k fan myself. I mean, I tried. What did I try? Custodes mainly mm. because I thought low model count, and yeah. you know. But I just I, it just didn't gel with me for some reason. I just couldn't get my head around it as such. So I love the Necromunda side of the game. I love the lore, the background, the history and all the stuff, but I just the models, I couldn't, they didn't gel with me as much as AOS and Necromunda yeah, yeah. and that. Do you, I think I, it's just for me, it's just something that about, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. 
I um, I, I, I fell out of love for 40k, and I, I think it's because I'm not really a fan of the current rule set uh, as it is. It's not my sort of game, and I just think that AOS at the moment is just so strong. Like I'm just loving it too much. There is no room yeah. for 40k in, in in what I want to do. Um, and yeah, I say there's loads. 40k is still probably the most popular game system that Games Workshop do. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it says a lot about it, but that's just how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, no, I, I can agree with that, because, I mean, I remember when it first, the rules came out, it felt very much like Age of Sigma, and then it fell back into that... Yeah. Yeah, Especially yeah. I keep... I keep... Um, Although, yeah. given half... Sorry, I think I've, um, I think Peach's uh, Wi-Fi has started to lag. Oh, not, not again. again, not again. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not talking over you on purpose, Peach. No, no, it's fine. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Me, given, half, given half the chance, um, I would love to get into Lord of the Rings because oh, good game. Yeah. yeah, best best game yeah. system I think that's ever been written. Um, yep. Because you can make it as complicated as you like, but it is also really simple. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of that. I guess that's why it was yeah, it, things like, I... um, what do you call it, uh, Old West and some of the other mm -hmm. um, like historical stuff that came out. It was used for yeah. some of that mm -hmm. as well. So, um, yeah, good system. Really I, good. I definitely think, um, personally, from playing it, I think that, um, obviously, I've not played all of the Games Workshop game systems, but for the ones I have, I think Lord of the Rings is... The most balanced. I mean, balance is a, is a is a word that um, thrown it's about. Quite quite um, like but, um, <laughs> as balance go, it, it, you know, in, in a game that relies heavily on on luck and little number cubes, yeah. um, <laughs> math rocks. Um, yeah, it, much, it feels like it. It feels like it's quite balanced. How much experience have you had at Warcry? Have you played much Warcry? I played Warcry when it came out. Yeah. Because I was up at Warhammer World when they were doing the um, the, the first chance to play it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And loved it. Um, but I'll be honest, when I then got into it, it, it I don't know whether it was just me, but I, I found that it became a game of if you've got more miniatures, you win. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. And it, I just fell up, just didn't like it. Then I was sort of like, nah. I, I yeah. Just, yeah, I can see. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we did a little office campaign, or I ran an office campaign before I uh, left. And um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of war, different warbands, varieties of warbands. And uh, one of the guys, uh, Nick uh, Emston, he, he built a Stormcast um, warband. And, they're, and they're, yeah. they're hefty as hell. And I was like, this is really unbalanced. But that was kind of balanced out by the scenarios as well. But then I had um, a faction that had lots of models, like you were saying, that you know you could steal women that. And really, I found that the balance comes with the cards that you get, where it's like the twist, the victory conditions. Mm -hmm. So you, you yeah. can you can like min max your 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 warband. You could like try and yeah. have every eventuality covered, or just go for like the full on. I'm just going to do a load of tanks, like what Nick did. He, he went for the Vigilors, which are archers, but they're really fast. They've got loads of wounds, but they're really good at fighting. Um, and it was like, well, he's going to win every game. But he didn't because I pulled out the odds twist, which made he, can't use it, he couldn't use his bows. So his bows became pointless. Amazing. <laughs> uh, so it kind of, in a weird way, the card system for me has that kind of like really clever balance where you you could prepare for everything and then a twist turns up all the victory conditions turn up and you've got yeah. some leg work to do and a lot of hard work to do so every game i've played it's always been a different sort of outcome and i used mm -hmm. the same warband across well i played loads of games it was only meant to be three games each but i played loads just to give people an opponent and yeah yeah, yeah I, I had all sorts of varying different like losses wins draws it, it, yeah, it was really interesting to see because um, for a long time I only played like one or two games and I was like that's alright and I got kind of used to the rules but yeah it's just seeing that one warband played like nine or ten times and going that is it's quite quite a variety of results you can get from one system yeah. 
but yeah, yeah. speaking of the, the twists and stuff i remember um just a funny story i remember i was playing someone um in like a store league thing and there was random like twists i can't remember what it's from i think it was one of the age sigma um they did like a card pack i think that was like randomized missions and things oh yes and yeah. the twist for <laughs> i was playing a guy um that had a uh, carriage on overlords so there's a lot of gunboats, and the twist was nothing can fly. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh dear, how did that how did that play out? Then he just couldn't use any of his, well, uh, it. Didn't, his it didn't end well because this was this was a time where I was playing skate. I, I was using Skaven, and it was at the time where there was no limit to how many warp fire projections you could put on your storm fiends. <laughs> so literally, because now it's like one in every three can have yeah. one. Whereas before it was like, the kit didn't come with three, but, but with a bit of kit yeah. bashing and stuff, I yeah. made three, and then I had a grinder team as well, so you could just pop them up out the ground, and then just mortal wound stuff. To the, it was like, oh, this is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you still went for it, though. <laughs> no, I mean, it was a store league, I mean. Committed, <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah. That's, that's 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 fine. I mean, I I had um, a gene stealer, not gene stealer, a tyranid army years ago, and I had two options. I was like, because I just couldn't be bothered to remember all the different rules for depending on yeah. which model had it, what the weapon strength would be, and this and the other. I was like, I'm just going to go claws. I'm just going to give everything claws. Mm. I've got big things with claws. I've got small things with claws. And I found that if they're spending their time trying to shoot the big things, the little things got there really quick and mm. torn to pieces. And if they're like, well, I'm going to ignore the big things and shoot the little things. By the time the big things got there, they tore them to pieces. And I, and I, I, I don't think I lost a game. It might have been one. It would have been close mm. call. And I got to the point where I was just like, this is dull. I'm, this just doesn't feel very fair. So I just, I just stopped using the army. And in the end, I, I passed it on to an old friend who said, can I buy your army? I was like, sure. There you go. Off you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I was a competitive gamer. I just... I was being lazy because I didn't want to learn all these rules. And then as a weird sort of result of that, I just had this really <laughs> fat <laughs> that's, 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 that's highly unfair because there are people out there who do nothing but math hammer and make it try and work. And you went, this is easy enough. Oh, look, it works. And so, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, they say, you know, get enough uh, chimpanzees, they'll make the uh, works of Shakespeare. I think that was my time. That, that was yeah. it. <laughs> We've got a question asking what we think of um, the new Rings of Power series. Mm. Okay. I've read the Silmarillion cover to cover four or five times, and I love it. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I have a few gripes, but they're just personal things, but yeah. I, I, I love it. I'm, I'm the same with that in Star Wars. There are so many people out there who hate yeah, it. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm watching it because it's Star Wars. I'm watching it because it's Lord of the Rings. I loved it. I mean, I might get slated for this. I, I loved Lord of the Rings. When the Hobbit films came out, there was a lot of sort of like, Hobbit's a bit rubbish, it's a bit badly written. It was extra Lord of the Rings content for me. I loved it. I, I always used to get sad when the Lord of the Rings movies finished because I wanted more. So when people got annoyed with The Return of the King where it was like, it goes black, and then there's another bit, and then it goes yeah. dark. There's another bit, I was like, more, give me more. I want, I don't, end, don't end it. That's so, the reason I've wanted to look extended edition so you can watch an extra three hours of the movie. So. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, rings of power. We've been told uh, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I know most of the characters. I mean, I've not read the Silmarillion back to back. I had Martin Shaw uh, audio book it to me once, um, and I, I'm, Liz got me a book. It was the Children of Hurin, and they had me oh. map the book out, and I started reading that, and it, and it did feel like I was reading the Bible, and I did get a bit lost. <laughs> I, I kind yeah. of because you'd get things like. Z I'm, I'm making these names up. These aren't actual names. It'd be like Zathanir of Varanar went to see Zulanar of Dilanar, and I'm just like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea who these people are, where they're going. I even have maps of like, you know, where Gondolin was and all this and the other. When it was flat, and then when it was round. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've, I've enjoyed it. I'm just playing that guessing game of going. So Gandalf mentions he's lived 400 lives in men. Let's say each man lives to like 50, 60. That kind of is going to be getting to close to 2,000 years, right? So is that Gandalf or is that just Sauron? I'm liking to think it's Gandalf. My brother is like, it's probably not. So, I don't have, you, know. have, you the latest, have you watched the latest episode? No. So I, I, I started I'm not going to say anything then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it later. Oh. 
<laughs> Needs to. Someone's going to spoil it for him, I'm sure, in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not, but it, it, it's a good episode. So yeah, yeah. Watch it, and then yeah. yeah, the end of the last one where the um, Numenorians turn up. I was just like, oh, that's good. Good timing. Yeah. Good timing. Yeah, it's <laughs> good. But if you know the Silmarillion, it's also not. <laughs> yeah, but it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. But that, that's just like turbo nerd. Kind yeah, of. yeah. I mean, I only really read the appendices anyway, so I'm, I'm aware of like Numenor and what happens, and you know the fact that you get the faithful that go off, and then they make Arnor and Gondor. So I've got a very abridged version of it. So you've obviously got a lot more. Probably, it, to be honest, it's the best version of it because that way, then you can watch it and be like, "This kind of makes sense. I remember yeah. it. It's really good." I don't know. Have you, you guys ever played like Skyrim or Oblivion or Marvel? Yes, right. I, I have. I have lost years of my. Teenage years to those games. The very first episode, I'm trying to think of the sitter. It's Morrowind, and you go to, oh, what's the, there's, there's an expansion. I think it's called Blood Moon. Solstheim. You go to Solstheim. Solstheim. Um, in the first one, you have to, I forget the baddie's name, you have to kill like a big baddie in like an ice fortress. And when you get to Skyrim, you get the, I think, I can't remember if it's a Dragonborn expansion where Solstheim's back there, but it's all like mm -hmm. frozen over. Yeah, the ash ones. Yeah. First episode felt like that when she's in that fortress where the ice trolls and stuff like that it felt like they were there and i was like am i watching skyrim now this feels like skyrim yeah, they just that. ripped that from there and put it <laughs> <laughs> no, i really like that yeah. it, was, it, was, it was good to see stuff you know like different armor styles i like the bit where you see the trees of um, uh, valinor and you know like the, the big battle with the orcs and the elves and you've got griffins in the background and griffins dying oh no yeah uh, cool yeah lots of cool <sighs> Single eagle tear. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. No, it was good. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Like Star Wars. I, have, I, I, I have a question I'm going to put out there now because this is, I think it's quite a good one, quite a good insight into pe what people uh, like. Um, so for both, uh, sorry, for all AOS, 40K and Heresy, favourite characters? <sighs> Heresy's dead easy. And I go Sigma. with... Um, assault targets for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know why. It just feels because everyone goes Loken, but I, I'm, I, there's something about assault targets for me that was just a little bit more sort of like he had more to, to lose. Um, yeah. And it's been a while since I've read any heresy. Um, 40k. Ooh, Eisenhorn. No, Ibram Gorn. Ibram Gorn. Ibram Gorn. Yeah. And what about Kyphus Kane? I mean, Black yeah, in Com but both commissars were ones of Colonel Commissar, but comedy relief, Cyphers came absolutely, yeah, because everything just happens. To, there's like that the, the bit where he, the, the two Valhalla regiments have merged, and yeah. he oh, he's, in the, he's, he's kind of almost of like, Oh god, what do I do? and he just sort of goes, Right, you pick up a mop, you do this, and they were like, Oh my god, yeah. he knows what he's doing, quick, do as he says, he might shoot us. It's just like yeah. he just fluffs his way for everything. Yeah, the yeah, true hate says heresy is rogue or dawn. I'd like to reply by saying it's okay to be wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> rogue or dawn. What about Peter Turbo? <laughs> Peter no, Turbo. No, I, I, I kid, I kid. I, I'm just not a big fan of the miniature because when it first got shown off, I was like, it just looks like Philip Schofield. Um, <laughs> well, no the yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no offence to the, any, whoever sculpted that, but... <sighs> But then again, I, I think some of the artwork for like Erebus looks like, oh, what's his name? The old magician. I forget his name now. Oh, Paul Daniels. Yeah, Paul Daniels. <laughs> just with writing on his head. <laughs> yeah, I, I, someone else mentioned that a while back, so you're not the first person to spot that. Oh, that's all right. I, I'm not the only crazy person. Then. That's fine. Oh, uh, there's so many times when I've like looked at things and gone, that looks like that person. Maybe they, they, they use that as reference or they're just, you know. Mm -hmm. I once did a... Um, when I was trying to like get into art, I, I used to pause Lord of the Rings, uh, freeze frame, and I'd just start sketching with an ink pen. So if I made mistakes, I'd pop and make a mistake. And I was drawing Aragorn where he's pulling his sword up at Amon Hen. So you can still see his face. Because I was using a pen, I, I kind of screwed up the face a bit and started to fiddle around with the nose. And Aragorn turned into Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's like, if I can ever find it again, I'll share it. Because I was like, I never knew Michael Jackson was at Amon Hand, but he is now. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's god awful. Never showed anyone else. Uh, uh, so this is how far we got. You got you got you you managed to do a heresy and a forty K. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <then it> <laughs> yeah. 
Age of Sigma. Okay, here you go. Go Trek Gurnison. That covers quite a lot of fantasy and... It does. It does. Well, I was actually going to add fantasy as a different one, like the old world. You could pick that as well as a separate thing. <laughs> well, I don't know for uh, Age of Sigma. I mean, you got quite a few decent ones. I mean, I like Marathi because she's like... Oh, the Shadow Queen. Yeah, so she's like, oh, I've, I've lived in hell for a while. I've crawled out of there. My, my, my son yeah. hates me. Uh, you know, so and I'm, I'm incredibly angry. Yeah, and then <laughs> I'm just going to pretend I'm a god, not be a god. Then suddenly become a god, and then just start taking over Sigma's realm. So I think she's, she, yeah, she's got small man syndrome, and she's like, you know, doing all right for herself. So yeah, big up to uh, Marathi, I reckon. I'm gonna go. Gonna go Marathi. Marathi. Gob's uh, Oh, oh, mm. oh. What? <sighs> Who else? I, I'm, I'm, Sig, I'm a uh, Sigismund fanboy. Have been from day one. So, oh yeah, yeah. And, and then when ADB wrote him into the Talon of Horus, I think the last well, Black Legion. Oh, if you've not read the book, no, no, I need to read it. A lot of Aaron Dempsey buried and stuff is good. I need to, I need to get me. I need to. I mean, I, I stopped reading a lot of the Heresy stuff not because um, I didn't like it. I loved it. I just I started doing time. stuff. It's just time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. My brother's just joined again. Hey, Mark. Peach Hi. tree crafting. Likes to make things out of oh. wood. Warp Storm Minute is going with Fabulous Bill. Fabulous, fabulous Bill. Bill. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> Sinister Evil Baddie. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. I can't, I can't call him by his actual name because I've just called him that for too long. <laughs> Kyberus <laughs> the Red Wake. There's another good one. Hmm. Yeah, if I was to pick mm -hmm. Old World, by the way, it would be Marius Lightdorf because he has a horse called Daisy and he talks to it. Uh, what more do you ask for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He died yeah. as well. So sad when I read that paragraph in the. Uh, in, I can't remember if it's the book or a white dwarf. He gets killed. I think for me, for heresy, I'd have to go with Logar. Oh. Just to be controversial there. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're both old. This, uh... <laughs> K, it's got to be Astra Belvect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I miss him so much. Evil. Yeah, I miss I miss that that character so much. Like model wise. Um, yeah. Luckily, I've still got the old. Imagine one, if they but, redo it now. Though. Um, so all, Age of all Sigma. Those characters went out. Yeah. Seeing him. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, sorry. The Age of Sigmar, so it kind of crosses over into fantasy as well, I guess, but thank all the Bone Ripper. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I mean, if you're going fantasy, then I'd have to go with Zachariah the Everliving. Mm. Yeah, he's a, mm. yeah, that's a, that's a, a classic. Yeah. Always yeah. wanted that model because I had a, a vampire count army. Well, I've got, obviously, a, a plastic heavy one, but back in the day, it was like the Lamians and the Necrarchs and stuff like that. Yeah. Always wanted him because he was quite cool looking. Yeah, I, ma I managed to pick him up when Games Workshop did the made to order for the dragons. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So I picked him up then, but um, one of the worst models ever to build. That <laughs> and the Sisters of Twilight on Forest Dragon. Yeah, I mean, I think most of the old metal dragons were awful, like Gal Rock, the two headed Chaos one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. the thing is, in retail, you, you've got that customer service sort of like obligation when someone comes in going, I'm really struggling with this kit and you have to like spend most of your time helping them. I say helping them, you end up just pinning the model for them. So you're there like really aching your hands. I mean my grip must have been really good at one point because you're just yeah. there using a little pin drill, just drilling in. The amount of gyrocopters that will come in that's the tiniest little piece to fit to the tiniest little piece and you need a really tiny little oh, bit of metal. Yeah. <sighs> but you're up the get clip a paper clip and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't miss those days. <laughs> um, th thank you for ruining Thankful for me, because now I can't unhear it. It does sound like a medicine for children. <laughs> oh, my child's a little bit ill. I'll give him some Thankful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't put the N-word on, because I was like... <laughs> oh. A lot of things are being ruined for me right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could get that that song stuck in your head. I mean, Louise might pop back in again, and you know. Oh, don't! <laughs> you should Honestly. make it like an alert. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. What about non GW oh, no. stuff? What, what, what are you guys into? Non GW is literally just about to go on to that. <laughs> oh. um, 
at the gaming club that I'm near, there are there is currently going to well, there is going to be a Song of Ice and Fire campaign. Ooh. So I'm thinking potentially that or Conflict Forty Seven. Yeah. I I've I said I've got some Star Wars Legion, so I really want to get playing that properly. Um, and I've not got the game for it to play it but i've got some miniatures just because i like the miniatures some of the harry potter ones oh yeah yeah no oh. yeah I, I, is that the night model ones um or is that yeah 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 yeah, the night really ones, nice. yeah 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 there's a few characters that i'm like oh they're just really really cool sculpts i just want to paint them so i mean maybe i'm intrigued to like pick up the game and have a look um see what it's like darren's just said he misses me i miss you too darren later i miss you too Join us. <laughs> <laughs> Poaching. <laughs> Never know. So there's, there's a guy on Instagram, right, who um, is an artist called Jake Bartok. I don't know if you ever, if you ever get a chance, anyone that's watching this, it's worth just looking him up. He does a really cool thing where he gets Star Wars. So he's, he's done like a load of a range of art because he's an artist. He does a range of art for the Clone Wars, but he makes them medieval. And it looks amazing. And all the droids look like undead. And like anything that's like um, separatist looks sort of necrotic or like undead or just, you know, moustache twirling evil. And then all the things like what, there's a piece where it's got Ashoka, all the uh, clone troopers that have the Ashoka helmets, but it's almost like the Grecian style T, you know, oh. sort of like helm and stuff like that. And then when he does like nice. wolf pack, they look like more sort of like Northern warriors with fur pelts and stuff. And then, all the Jedi are more like an order of knights, uh, which it's it's so good. And then he started doing um, Star Wars stuff, but in the theme of Lord of the Rings, uh, <laughs> which is even uh, it's just it, I mean, he just just do really cool Star Wars art anyway. But he's got these two things, and I want to see miniatures games for both of those now as well because I think there's a 3D print you can get off eBay that I was, I was looking at the other day. I was talking to Pat about it, like doing like slightly large scale stuff, and there's. Um, yeah. A Captain Rex, but he, instead of having two pistols, he's got two hand axes, and all his armor mm. is very sort of medieval. And he just looks really good. So if you ever get a chance, just look for a guy called Jake Bartok, and you will not be disappointed mm. by the art. It's very sort of comic style as well, the the art, but really well done. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, I'll paint stuff. I literally <laughs> want someone to scoop that. I want someone to scoop those miniatures so I can play games with them because it'd be mega. Yeah. Talk about a crossover. I don't, I don't know if Daz is still in the chat, but I just want to, if he is, um, congratulations on the Golden Demon win oh, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well deserved. Well deserved. A brilliant job. Yeah, I was looking at um, the stuff he was posting the other day. I mean, that, I don't, I don't know if it, it would go into Golden Demon or not, but when he did the Legion of the Damn guy with all those flames mm -hmm. and all that, oh. Well, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. I remember when, when I first started, Daz, Daz was very friendly. He came over and chatted to me and it was like really, really complimentary because I had some stuff in the, uh, in the museum. And when I'd started, it was when we were bringing out Warriors of Chaos. So it was just before the plastic uh, demon princes came out. And I think the kit for the uh, mounted marauders and the Chaos Knights were being done. Um, and Daz was doing like some colour variants. This is the days where you just, you know, Darren is just a super talented guy. So he had painted a Chaos Warrior and he had a load of, it was like a green armour, but it had loads of little skull designs on the armour. He also did it on the shield and then just went, oh, I don't like it. So he just painted over it. He spent <laughs> ages freehanding all these skulls on one of those massive great big tower shields that the Chaos Warriors have and just went, nah, I don't like it. It's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> the fact you could just do that and then go, nah, paint over it. Yeah, well, it <laughs> yeah. Always, uh, always got a lot of time for Darren. Uh, caught up with him before I left, walking down the canal and saying, a good chin wag, well, that was nice. Uh, good lad. Yeah, I only bumped into him like once, I think. Um, had a quick chat, but um, so I'm, I'm at Warhammer quite a lot, but don't live close enough that yeah you can bump into people all the time um so it's always it's always great having a having a catch up with like um uh ben johnson always like oh, having yeah, a catch up yeah. with ben um yeah absolute legend um jess pickham as well yeah jess yeah Abs yeah got a lot to uh, absolute le legend um so yeah always great to catch up with people like that when i bump into them at warhammer world um 
Oh. Um, I just walk around oblivious because I'm looking at the plastic cracks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember for a lot, I, I, I forgot what Ali Morrison looked like, and it was one. I think it was my first games day working for a workshop, and uh, I was on the conversion clinic, and there was this guy with this little girl running around in the conversion clinic, and they were like staff that were working there, and I was just chatting and just like being cheeky and this that, and the other, and then it wasn't until after I realised it was Ali Morrison, and that was his daughter, who's now like in the uh, uh, specialist game studio, like I think doing art, uh, Maraid. Uh, I was just like, oh my god! I was like being really cheeky and like you know, like, <laughs> things to him, and he was saying mean things back. I feel so bad that you know yeah. this like, impression. Yeah, he's great. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Is there any plans to possibly you know when you do play games casually and things um, at Warhammer World? You yeah, I mean. Uh, sort of thing you'd still I've been there a couple of times already since leaving uh, for coffees. I, I went um, impromptu. I was just going past, I'd finished early filming with Pat and I was like, you know what, I'll just go and get, because I'd ran out of, uh, I think it was either Chaos Black or Mechanica Standard Grey. So I thought I'd just pop off, get a, um, a can of that. And then I dropped a message to Louise saying, oh, I'm here, do you fancy a, a coffee? And her and Emma sat down, we had a bit of a chat for a time, it was nice. Um, and then oh, nice other, one. Yeah, and then the other day I met, um, there's a guy called Chaos Thug. Um, he's from Spain, Jesus from Spain. And he was coming over and he said, it would be really nice to meet but he'd organised it before I left. I, I knew I was leaving for a long time. I just didn't want to like, you know, spread it out to the world because I had yeah, a job cool. at the time. Um, but we met up at Trent Vineyard, and, um, which is literally it's a, a, a church, but they've got a really nice cafe that's opposite Games Workshop. So I met him there and had some drinks and Louise came along and that. And I showed Louise uh, the teaser trailer with me on the bike and she literally cried. It felt like a proud <laughs> mum moment. I was like, what are you crying for? You can get me going. She's like, oh my God, it's so good. I was like, well, it's all Pat. Uh, with his drone and all these cameras oh that i feel so bad as well because it although it, it was fun to do and it's done mm. all right from like from my point of view it's done all right from like views if because pat had got like this contraption which he put on his windscreen to put his six grand camera on and he said he's never driven so so <laughs> trepidously before like just going don't fall, off, don't fall off don't fall off i mean if that came off that would have been quite a a a wage to recuperate or a yeah. cost to recuperate. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine trying to like claim on the insurance for it. And I think oh, I was God, like, yeah, yeah. How would you work? Motorcyclist and it fell off. But yeah, I, I, I try to go down to one board as often as I can, um, if I can, and say hello. And I want to play some games because there's loads of people that want to play Warcraft or do some stuff. So it'll be it'll be nice to get back into to do that. There's also a place I've never been to. It's in Derby, not far away from where I live, called Board and Sword. So I need to show my face down there as well that's supposed to be quite a, uh, a go-to place as well um, yeah lots of things yeah. to do I'm at, I'm at Warhammer quite a lot so if you ever want a silly game of AOS Peachy oh yeah in for it <laughs> in for it in for it up same difference yeah how many ones can be rolled all of them <laughs> all of them how many have you got <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. Think, think it'll be quite an interesting game. You'll be like, really? I've done all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did this occur? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, the True 8 uh, would love to get back into gaming proper. No better time to do it. Yeah, plenty of things out there. Um, yeah. Plenty of great things that will happily segue you into the more... I'd recommend starting with Necromunda, because I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean... Cold, I, cold, I, I, I I agree with that. Uh, that was my real first inning into. Well, when we had like the box set with the Bretonians and the Lizardmen, but I think Necromunda was really emboldened me to narrative play. Um, yeah. That's part of the reason I like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I did it with the family. So my dad, me, me, my brother James. I can't remember if my brother Mark did it or not, but yeah, we certainly like built up like some gangs. I mean, I did Eshes. There was the plastic stuff that came in there, but I did Eshes. Then I did some Bansars. Mm. And then some redemptionists, and then I had some scavies, uh, and then some ratskins as well. So I had a bit of a mishmash of everything. Uh, but I really yeah. wanted to do a game recently for the whole family. It was the Christmas that was meant to be a Christmas, but then Boris cancelled Christmas. Uh, yeah. But I painted most of the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm calling off Christmas. All right, I felt like robbing a prince of thieves again. Um, but. <laughs> yeah, I've got loads of it painted, so I thought it'll be, at some point I'm sure we'll do it again, get me fam round and then just do like Peach Hammer, four pluses, minimise the rules a bit. But yeah, it should be fun, should yeah. do that. But yeah, top game, Necromunda. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, 
it's not, I need to get my hair dry on this, throw it down. I'm just going to do it after. <laughs> Looking good, though. It's good paint. So good. Have you got a window open? No, but it's fine. As long as it doesn't stand up, it's completely all right. <laughs> <laughs> there's some concern in the chat that you went for coffee. Oh, because you said coffee instead of tea. Oh, yeah, well, they, they go for coffee, so I have to say coffee, because I only go for tea, but, yeah, I only drink tea, I don't drink coffee, yeah. I don't know why I say coffee, it's because everyone goes, they're going for coffee, because at three o'clock, like, I probably shouldn't say this, but because people just go down now to Warmerwood and wait for, like, Louise and the gang, because they always, like, go off at three o'clock for a Bugman's. Uh, so, yeah, just hassle them, just go down there at three o'clock and just stop them from getting a, a tea <laughs> or a coffee. Uh, get all the cakes beforehand as well, uh, that'd be good. <laughs> Really PG send us to picket this entire area so you cannot get your favorite room. Now that, that's a pinchy tip right there. <laughs> yeah. They'll have to change it. Like, Damn it, I have to be quarter past three now. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. I, uh, I think my next Warhammer World trip is coming up quite soon. Oh, cool. Quite good. Yeah, I think 5th or 6th of November. I think I'm going up for a game. That's good. Yeah. Try and pass by if I can. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. Yeah. Got to. Then uh, December. Night for December. Because I always go up for my birthday. We have a big birthday bash thing. That's a good idea. So, yeah. I decided to join so. on the old uh, t uh, Turnip 28. Have you ever heard of that? Turnip 28? No. Is that a... no. Oh, right. So, um, I've seen it a few times on like, Twitter. And what it is, um, they get like, a load of Napoleonics <laughs> and a load of like medieval most of the time I've seen people just use the peri plastics like the medieval stuff and not the Napoleonic stuff and mm -hmm. they make, like weird looking sort of imagine tunics and trousers and muskets but with like a knight's helmet and kind of got like the goblin vibe from like Labyrinth um, it's all 28 mil um, and it's called turnip 28 because they're all like based off root vegetables so you'd have like all like these roots like you know when you get like the bits called like potatoes and, and like uh, beetroot and stuff like that yeah. um, mm -hmm. and there's a tournament on the uh, 13th of November and me and Pat were like oh should we go and do it it'd be fun I've never played it and I've started building up a, a small army it's, you don't need lots you, you have mm -hmm. um, in the rules you have something called toffs and uh, snobs I think it is um and the top is like the big boss and then you have like he can take um a couple of units and then you have two mm. snobs and they can have a unit each and the unit literally you just mm. want to pick like if it's like a bunch of grunts or a bunch of or fodder i think they're called and you get like brutes which are like elite and it tells you how many models you have so if it's like grunts you have 12 mm. and then you can decide if they have muskets or you decide if they have or missile weapons or you decide if they have like um black powder weapons and you just build four units and a couple of heroes and then you just i've not played the game before so i'm gonna to go to this tournament not knowing how to play just paint an army from scratch and we're just <laughs> a bit of fun and i think we'll probably just put it on like to start off with maybe like behind the scenes stuff on the patreon and then uh yeah probably put some of it on youtube just to see how it went and it'll be fun but i've not got a clue what i'm doing so it'll be fun <laughs> That's fine. make up a random faction of goblinoid looking napoleonics and just see how it goes but yeah, if anyone's ever seen it, it's, it's, it's yeah. fun looking arts. It looks fun. It's very different. Re very much reminds me of like the labyrinth. Uh, Currently got a list started at the side of things I now need to look up. So just <laughs> <laughs> keep adding to the Yeah, lots of lots of things. A, a vegan army. You could say it's a vegan army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no meat allowed. Just roots. But yeah, it's very. Uh, That's interesting. interesting. Yeah, good art. Oh, I, like I said, I've never played it, so I'll find out if the game system's any good, but I don't really care. Hey, Em. Uh, Emma's just joined. Em, the paint freak. Yeah. I've, oh, hi, Em. I've got a lot to thank her for. She was uh, the uh, the brains behind the uh, the, the sword. I'm Ooh. still uh, still reeling from that, having a, 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 a sabre in the household amongst all the other things I've got. It's very yeah, cool. that was epic. Yeah, very epic. Yeah, it was, I, I, again, it's like one of those things when you when I've never left a business before, and you know it's happened to everyone else. They all gather around and they they all say, "Oh, thanks for working us," and blah blah blah. Here's some gifts, speech kind of thing. And I was just like, "I don't want that. I just want to leave quietly." Yeah, you know, I mean, sometimes I, I, I do come across. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is that. I, I do come across a bit sort of like you know, center of attention, like a bit of a laugh, like to you know, 
put myself out there and stuff like that. But what, I hate that kind of stuff happening to me. Uh, it was probably before Christmas. Oh, no, it was last year, July last year. Of course it was. It was my birthday, July, July last year. And everyone just got a cake and they started singing happy birthday. And the, cl- the, the closest exit was the window on the second floor. <laughs> and I was just like, I, I, I need to get out. I can survive this. It's, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always feel really awkward around those kind of things. <laughs> get out now. <laughs> get out now. Yeah, I don't like being the centre of attention either. But then again, saying that and we're in front of people talking about it's, the stuff that yeah, we enjoy, yeah. so that's not I think it's different. I mean, I, I certainly have like a, a um, I don't know, a different peachy personality when I'm doing like live and I'm doing chatting, meeting up with people and doing paint videos. But mm-hmm. I don't know if it's like because we used to do this Myers Briggs thing when I was a manager where you work out if you're like extrovert, introvert, and you then work. It, it does feel a bit like pigeonholing people, but it's a really good way of working out different people's personalities. So you can work around them from a, a managerial point of view. And um, I definitely fell into this extrovert sort of category, but extroverts need time to recharge and they need time to be mm-hmm. on their own. And, and for me, that is like playing on the computer sitting down painting or you know in the evenings when like liz has gone to bed now charlie's gone to bed and it's like i just sit up down watch rings of power watch and or, or or whatever and just sit and do hobby also very good also very good yeah <laughs> latest episode uh, very it just felt like a dirty dozen episode if no one's seen it i'm not going to spoil it but it was, it was really good really really enjoyed yeah. it uh, slow burn nice build up because it's espionage isn't it it's not like full-on mm-hmm. blasters out jedi slashing with swords no, stormtroopers not hitting anything. It's oh, so th- this is a spoiler, but I don't care. Uh, it's not going to ruin anything. But one of the things I've always wanted to see from Star Wars movies is the Imperial Army, and you never get. You always see stormtroopers. You always see like death troopers. You always see scouts, but you never see the Imperial Army. And in that yeah. episode, you got to see the Imperial Army. The actual like because they look like um, at, at ATST pilots, don't they? But with like yeah. dark green fatigues and the the armor and then the helmet. Yeah, I've known about those since role play because my brother Mark used to have like a lot of role play books um, for mm-hmm. Star Wars, and I always and I've got like some three D printed versions of the Imperial Army, which I'll use as stormtroopers in Legion. And I was like, why do we never see those? Because it's like the vast majority of the Galactic Empire's army, right? They're just yeah. like because that's what Solo was. I mean, they called him right. a Minban trooper, but he wasn't just the Imperial Army. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see more of them, which is good. Mm. That rant over. <laughs> No, but it was a worthy one because it was it was poignant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, I've been enjoying Andor for sure. I'm uh, I'm holding fire on watching it actually. Oh really? Waiting for more to come out. I'm just I I like binging the like so I'm good, just gonna wait till everything's done and then watch. I can't believe my brother just put that up. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, I was like, Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was a different time. We didn't have clothes, Mark. Remember that we couldn't afford clothes, all right? So, <laughs> where uh, Peachy now regrets coming on it? <laughs> no, not at all. I can get away with it now. I was just like, sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, SG One. There's oh. the true eight. Yeah, Star oh. the oh, original. Yeah. Yeah, before the fast day crew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even then, I wasn't. I mean, I'm a big fan of Claudia Black. Anything with her, and I'm happy because you know she's Claudia, Claudia Black. Black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, certainly when it was Officer Sung from Fast Day. But um, but yeah, um, I but me and the wife got all the DVDs back in the day when it was DVDs. When they come in the big big long box set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to like minimise them down now. It's one of those little zippy C D cases where you can like put them all on the sleeves and stuff. But yeah, yeah I love the series. So good. Uh, Colonel O'Neill, Richard Dean Anderson, can't have some more than that. Who doesn't mm. like a sarcastic US Air Force colonel? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> good <laughs> <with that> question. <laughs> I just saw. I couldn't see who it was. Someone just said they were off, and thanks for uh, thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, so, are either of you uh, big horror fans at all? Watch it. Not. I won't say like you know. I, I don't mind watching zombie movies and stuff like that. But if mm. someone's like, "What's your favourite?" I'm like, Pfft. I mean, I just yeah. like. Fair enough. I, I kind of like 
things when it doesn't show the the actual monster and it's all in your head they're the worst ones so i watched a thing called creep years ago and i was like oh this is this is cool uh and then you end up seeing it it just looks like a degenerate golem looking thing i was like oh, i'm not scared of yeah yeah, yeah. Not, kind of takes away all the aspects of it i totally yeah. agree i think the scariest things are things you don't see and where yeah. y- your your imagination makes up what yeah. It is like so I think your own imagination is the scariest thing ever. Like, what goes on in your own head? Like, yeah, oh yeah, um, really? Yeah. But, um, yeah. So you say you say zombie movies, but do you mean George A. Romero zombies or Twenty Eight Days Later zombies? Or <sighs> you see, Twenty Eight Days Later. Obviously, I've been corrected many times. It's infected, not zombies. So they're very different. Um, yeah. But I like those because it felt like home. Because mm. it's Britain, and especially like yeah. the first one, when you see like the motorways and you see like the country houses and stuff like that, you're just like, this feels real. But like when you watch yeah. stuff like Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, and stuff like that, you're a bit like, that's cool. Lots of zombies. I'm a fan of The Walking Dead, but like from my point of view, it's not because of the zombies. It's the and this is why Liz hates horror movies. She won't ever watch them. It's it's how the people. She hates. Um, how people react in those situations it's and she she's like because if that happened that's what would happen and that's scarier than the actual yeah. zombies themselves um yeah. so yeah the I, i'm a big fan I, I, I like the ring but the classic japanese versions um that's yes. far scarier far scarier than than the americanized ones but yeah insidious mark yep also a very oh, good one yeah yeah, I watched that recently as well, and that was a bit like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm a massive fan of the whole Conjuring universe. Ah, so like massive, massive fan. So like the Annabelle films and the Nun, the Nun and th- things like that. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Really cool. So like the demonic type uh, spirit type thing. Yeah, I like that. I like that type of thing. So um, you seen Sinister? Uh, I've seen a bit of it. I never finished watching it in the end. Yeah, that's just 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 creepy. The um, Evil Dead. Yeah. You know, um, you know what I find scary. Scary. Sorry, PG. Uh, you know what I do find scary. Yeah. Are computer games that are horror. Oh no, don't. No, that, that is the scariest <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I get scared of stuff that shouldn't be scary. Like um, I remember uh, playing um, five minutes, all five minutes of. Um, Red Dead Undead Nightmare. <laughs> <coughs> Zombies should not be fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they shouldn't run at you screaming. And <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, so the no. true one I just mentioned, <laughs> Alien Isolation, uh, that was a winner for me. Um, mm. Again, it, it didn't matter that it was Ripley's daughter. It felt like it was you in the game. Yeah. Um, and the, hiding in like lockers away from an alien and stuff like that. that that felt scary playing it on your own with the lights off and your headphones are hiding cool. against but yeah. on the ai as well and yeah oh yeah yeah and but the other one um that really got me was fear now there was action scenes in fear which kind of like when you i don't know if you ever played fear the, certainly the original and i remember like the first time playing it and i like the the, the ragdoll mechanics and then you get like some engagement and you're taking down some of these corporation guards and stuff but you always knew something bad was going to happen because you got that white static on your heads-up display. You go, you know, oh, something <laughs> weird's going to happen now. You oh, great! For yeah. it, but then you're not prepared for it because. You, so, like for an example, I, think, I can't remember what it was. Like you, you go into like this cubicle area, it's like a load of office room, um, like cubicles, and you go in, and something falls off, um, like one of the desks, and you look where you go, and you're like, oh, there. you go back. And then that girl is just there. And I've never like, <laughs> like I've my heart jump out as much like shooting at nothing, like ah, yeah. <laughs> just emptying the clip, like oh. yeah. So it's it's the way they did that was just so clever, so clever. The original Silent Hill is much oh, yeah. pointed out, <clears throat> very yeah. good game. I was a big fan of Resident Evil Two. I played mm. so much of that game. Yeah, yeah. replayability. Uh, Evil, not Evil Dead. Dead Space One. I loved that game. Never played it, Wasn't but I've it? heard a lot of good stuff about it. Yeah, yeah. Horror games. Ooh. Getting shivers no, thank you. <laughs> Watching the movie, can't play it in a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I keep my game um, horror gaming to uh, war gaming with Nighthawk and the such. Thank you. <laughs> Don't blame you. 
I'm still, uh, I'm, after reading the Battletoad Night Hall, I'm still trying to figure out how certain unit you're going to come across get terrified by a ghost. Yeah. There, there's a rule where it's like if you're within certain distance, that unit is classed as being terrified. Um, mm. Okay. But, but I, I, fail, I fail to see how uh, Bloodthirst is scared by a ghost. Yeah. Yeah, he's a demon. He don't care. Yeah, that, <laughs> I guess that's the difference between like the old Hammer stuff where you'd have fear and terror. And if you yeah. caused terror, you weren't scared by anything. So that was a really mm -hmm. clever way of doing it. Um, yeah. where, and Unbreakable, like if you're a Slayer, you just don't care, do you? So, um, which well, I used to love getting lots of Slayers because they didn't care. But yeah, having that, that threshold, like fear doesn't cause fear on fear causing things. But it does cause you do get scared if you're fighting against a terror causing thing because they're bigger and scarier. But then a terror causing thing doesn't get scared by a ghost. So it's like, yeah, really just yeah. rules. psychology, perfect. Miss the drunk rules though from the yeah. old ones. Used to Although be. I am enjoying things like my blade gas, like terrifying a mecha gargant and stuff. It's going to be great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, crawl um, off his trousers. That'll terrify anyone. Exactly. Well, exactly. Um, uh, Mark's pointed out Daz's dice rolling is the true horror story. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> there is an Oruk. Oh, I forget what it is. I can't remember. Is it Bone Splitters? No, Bone Splitters is something completely different. Basically, their army ride wall rule is that you turn off ward saves. How would that affect Nighthorn? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? How would it affect them? Like, because um, you don't, you have a save. Or is yours just a ward save? I'm not, I'm not clued it's in. All ward. Oh well, yeah, it's all ward. So any after save is just a ward now. Okay. okay. It's kind of just standardised. So. Um... Always get the book out. Yeah. The book's coming. Bear with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know it's going to turn off that save, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to find it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So friendly night hawk units have a ward of six plus. Okay. So if it switches off ward, like I say, everything's kind of been standardised now in the third edition books. Like there's not different wording for different wound negation. It's all just yeah. ward. It, it's so so all rules that negate wards negate all these special rules, which is quite nice. Mm. Um, I hope they do more um, stuff like taking a lead from this Nighthorn book because one of my biggest gripes with the game is the amount of mortal wounds being thrown around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they yeah. don't seem special anymore, yeah. like because, um, like I think save mortal wounds to like the god killing weapons uh, <laughs> and things like that. Not Archeon's god killing. King well, you get what I'm coming from. There's just a lot of mortal wounds going around, and you can do them in all the phases. But Nighthaunt's old rule was any sixes to hit are a more do mortal wounds instead of the damage, or yeah. in addition. Remember, um, which was just gross because it's, you, at, at that point you you just throw as many dice as you can and you fish for sixes. That is the game for Nighthaunt. Yeah. Whereas now they still do the thing on sixes, which is great, but sixes to hit now are just an auto wound. So oh. you're still you're still giving your opponent a chance to roll some dice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, make 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 your you know, make your saves. Um yeah. it just means you nice. have to roll less dice. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. nice. I really like it. I really like it. I can't find it. I'll have to look it up another time. It's because it never existed, Cal. You're making rules up. I'm brilliant at that. You've been keeping the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. I'm very good at making rules up. Not in a good way, obviously. No, I see, I, I, I see it once and I'm like, yeah, I definitely remember where that is, that page number. I, I've been known to play the rules wrong and been called, you know, been said, oh yeah, you're cheating Ooh. against my own favour. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's detrimental to me. Why do yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like my whole arm is meant to have a ward save, but it's like I, I haven't been rolling it, and it's like, oh, haven't you got a ward save? Oh yeah, I haven't been doing it. Oh, you cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not not quite sure that's how that works, but yeah, sure. <laughs> it's not. It's not how it works. <laughs> but hey, uh, yeah, I've not really had much of a um, a dabble at the current age of sigma stuff especially since like you know 
uh, the Cruel Boys and the um, Thunderstruck mm. stuff came out. I uh, just not got around to it. But yeah, I'll have to, because you've got the Path to Glory stuff in there, which again, definitely sounds like my bag. Brilliant. Um, yeah. But I do need to get back into that. It's been a long time coming. So yeah, you'll have to teach me a few things. Should we play wow. with Page of Sigma? What, with my made-up yeah. rules? Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, we've just, four we've just told you that we make up rules, and you're like, oh, you're going to have to... Uh... <laughs> I'm in. I'm in okay. for that. <laughs> no, no, we don't make that. But no, um, yeah, any opportunity I get to play, I don't, I don't mind who I play. So um, if anyone wants a game of AOS, and you're sort of like either local to where I am now, so it's like we're like Oxford hmm. sort of area. So around there, or if you can get to Warhammer World and want a game at Warhammer World, I go up like six times a year. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I can always catch people for games and always up for it. Meeting new people is great. So it's all about community for me. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Um, and think? Instagram's been, been really, really good. Like, since I was always dubious about putting my... Because Instagram was, you know... Is, is mainly pictures, you know yeah. what I mean? Whereas, like, Facebook and Twitter, it, it, you don't have to do that. And I'm, I've always been like, I don't want my work out there. So I've mm. always been off of Instagram, and it's like, just do it. I've been told just to do it, so. Yeah. Bit of the book, did it, and great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of Instagram. The only thing I find really weird is it, it's definitely one of those platforms for, photog for, for photos but the photos are so con compressed that the, the details lost. Whereas like Twitter, you get less characters, you get less images, but the photos aren't. And they're really like, you know, whatever you put up, you can zoom quite, a, quite far and you can still get the detail. So I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird, yeah. Um, and then obviously now they're trying to compete with TikTok. So, they, they, you know, if you put reels up, then you've got the algorithm and stuff like that. It's like, no, I just want to, because I've had this a few times where I've been shadow banned. Uh, they say it's not a thing, but it is a thing because I've had it. I don't know if any of you guys have had it. If you like too much stuff, if you're enjoying the hobby and seeing lots of amazing pictures and you're going, I really like that, I like that, I like that. You get treated as a bot and get shadow banned. So whenever you post something, yeah. it just doesn't show up in any of the tags. Um, yeah, but... it happened once on, once on Instagram um, because I was going through a lot of accounts and I was like just trying to have as much inspirational stuff come from my feet. So it was like, all right, I like this person's stuff, so I'll follow them. Yeah. But, and I went through a whole lunch break where I was just bored. So I was literally, I followed like so many people and it was like, well, you're clearly a bot. Yeah. Yeah. And like, it just like, it, it basically put me in jail for like two days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. It's weird because sometimes it's like a week. Sometimes it's like a couple of days. Another time, I mean, I had one which was like, it felt like it was going on for months because any time I posted anything, it just wouldn't show up anywhere. I was yeah. like, what's going on? So it's like, I, I can't, because it, again, if you don't like become regular on those things, then you go down the, 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 the food chain of like being noticed, don't you? Not that I really I care yeah. about that. I just like to post pictures of Star Wars figures now. But, you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> on, on top of other things as well. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just weird that, you know, uh, but yeah, you, you get your weird, I call them sex bots because that's what they are. They're just like little made up accounts and they've got like weird codes and then they have like a little bit of text and you're just like oh for god's sake go away delete block delete yeah block, delete i'm not stupid yeah. um but yeah they seem yeah. to like never get noticed and carry on which is a really irritating yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's a i try to follow everybody that yeah, me on Instagram. <laughs> um then you get told very off for it but um yeah it's a. Uh, I, I, I like the platform and I like, I like doing these. Um, uh, okay, my range uh, is blocked down since December 2020. <laughs> oh, wow. That's mad. Yeah. yeah it's a lot <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. It's, it's insane. I, don't, I just don't get it. Just don't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've had some okay. terrible views, but then it could just be like, because that's the thing as well. You like post something up, you're like, oh, they really don't like these models. Like, well, I must have done a really bad paint job. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, well, I'm yeah. never painting them again. <laughs> I, um, I, uh, I put, when I've done reels, I, I, I put them all on uh, the YouTube channel as well as, as shorts. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why yeah. not? Why not? I, I had a lot of people would like message me and say about my, some of my reels they found them actually funny mm. so I was like oh, okay I'll put them on YouTube yeah if, if people find them funny that's, that's fine 
Um, uh, but YouTube has a thing where you can like and do a thumbs down, like dislike. Yeah. yeah. And some of my rules are so that they're just so like nothing. They're not offensive. They're not. Some of them. It's like how can you dislike it? Yeah. Like there's nothing yeah. to dislike. It's yeah. like a couple of seconds, but a lot of people are like, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> no, you'll get the dislike. <laughs> don't I mean, like that. I used to get that when my videos would go up. I don't know if it's because I worked for workshop because I was bold. Mm. Well, because they just didn't like the face, but, you know. Sometimes you just get it. It's just like, and this is something I've said to people in the past. When you get like, um, like the new guys that started in the YouTube team, um, don't look at the comments. Don't look at the comments because you know you get like people just being nasty, just for the sake of it, and for the uh, sake of being nasty. Yeah, and it's like that. They're just they're just people shouting at clowns. No matter what you do, someone out there is going to hate you. Just to yeah, I'm going to please everyone. Yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't. No matter how hard you try, you could literally you know, pull bur- people out of burning buildings and, like, you know, rescue blind orphans and, like, have every animal uh, from the RSPCA across the <laughs> in your house, but someone would still hate you for whatever reason, no matter how hard you try. Um, so, yeah, it's, it, and I used to get that for a time, and I was just like, I just don't care anymore. You know, I, I'm not going to go for a beer with you, so why, why would I care what you think? <laughs> and then you look at their, uh, their, their, their account, and it's just like they've got one follower, you're just like... Yeah, sure. Like, I mean, you're just angry. You're just an angry person. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. But yeah, I got told once, and this is not long after I had my son, I was just starting uh, Warmer TV, that this guy shouldn't be allowed near schools. I was like, oh, God, you don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to get my kid to nursery now? <laughs> there we go. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry if I've missed anyone's questions again. It's been uh, a little flight going past quite quickly so um remember yeah. you've got a little bubble with the <laughs> question mark in it yeah exactly but um so i think we're coming to the end of it anyway the uh the, we're on about the two hour mark cool really oh that's got quicker. Go. Two, <laughs> two <laughs> hours like that you see you just taught a load of load of rubbish about rv and stuff like that it's great <laughs> yeah Conrad, I work with Conrad. He's a lovely man, and he's right. We need more positive people. I mean, Conrad's such a positive guy. He works in um, a head office with his. Well, I say the security team. He, he does a lot of stuff around the, the business, but he's like the most positive man. He, he, he looks like he looks like me, um, or I look <laughs> like him. You know, bold. He's, he's like a sexier version of me. That's what I'd probably claim him as. Um, but yeah, he's a super positive guy. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's not hard to be nice, is it? That's the thing I've always found. It's just not. not it's, yeah. Just, just be nice. No, you have to, no, you have to go out of your way to be nice. You, it's like <laughs> it takes a lot of effort, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, that, yeah. if that's your stick, fine. Just <laughs> I'm going to be happy. Just leave you to it. You crack on. Have fun. Or, exactly. I'll just, I'll just leave you to it. Luckily, I, th- I think the the community is vastly outweighed by nice people. Oh yeah. Luckily, yeah. Agreed. Uh, Agreed with that. You get it, the odd one. Just now. the nasty ones, like when things crop up they're the ones that stick in your memory, which yeah. is a shame. So, like, mm-hmm. the negative always sticks with you as that moment where someone was horrible, <clears> rather <throat> than the hundreds of times that people were really nice and cool about it. And, unfortunately, that that's the way it is. But um, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, people always remember yeah. the negatives. Absolutely. I mean, I've, I, even I've been, you know, guilty of that, where I'm just like, oh, you said that thing to me. I'm like, no, because those, those 40 yeah. times when you're, like, really helpful. I think so. I re- think- I think that's just being human, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. To do that. Absolutely. We're um, all fun. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, I just want to thank uh, thank thank you very, very much, Peachy, for hanging out in Harby with us. It's, You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Um, so make sure you uh, follow Peachy and follow um, The Painting Face uh, here and go and subscribe on YouTube. Um, I mean... Uh, Screw it! I'm going to plug myself. Follow me as well if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never, you never, I never plug myself. I'm you doing should. it this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, follow uh, Cal as well. Um, don't do that. It's a terrible. Don't, idea. Yeah, okay, don't follow Cal. Just, just <laughs> myself, the Peachy, and the painting phase. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. But no. Um, now, hopefully, um, it won't be the last time that we see you on PT. Yeah. Great to have you back at some point. Um, you're always welcome. Hopefully, we can get that game in as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then at some point, and, maybe uh, the, the stars will align and get the roads involved as well. That'll be nice. 
that, that's joke. the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> just waiting for him to just waiting for him to get back. It's just he's a busy guy. I mean, like I said in in, in emails, like we used to organise like nights out into Derby for drinks. I mean, Derby's not the best yeah. place to go out for drinks. It's a bit now. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's hard to catch that guy. He's he's a busy man. A busy yeah, man. I've got a calendar which is um, crossing off every day. It's like number of days without a response. Another <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> but he, he was all right. It was like two days of constant back and forth, and then like the third day, it's like he's like, I've had enough of this guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've sent I've sent him messages, and I don't know if it's just because he's like. He gets a lot of DMs. I imagine he probably just get a lot of DMs. So I'd send a message. Yeah, to me, yeah. I, I get none. It's having me more than my wife. Um, and <laughs> it was fine. Uh, and I'd send him a message. And he, he asked me a question. Like, oh, I saw this the other night. It was really cool. I really like what you did with that. I was like, oh, cool. And I'll start chatting. We'll have, like, like, say, like a, an hour or so worth of chatting. Mm. And then yeah. it'll be nothing for a month. <laughs> just like, cool. Yeah. I'll wait. That's the way it is. <laughs> but, um, no. But the uh, the last thank you as well to everyone that's joined in and put comments in the chat. These hangout and hobbies aren't the same without the banter in the chat. So um, and the questions, so it's uh, it's really really appreciated, honestly. And thank you for being awesome. Um, so once again, thank you guys for joining me. Thank, thank you. you for having me. And until next time, happy hobby, everyone. Happy hobby. Bye bye.